Welcome to the Sky Zone HD Game of the Week. Here we are at Wilkes Central High School. This is a um, beautiful day for a um, soccer match here today as the Ash County Lady Huskies travel in here to play the Wilkes Central Eagles. And should be a great one here. I'm Terry Smith along with Drew Piscopo. Drew, Ash County comes in here. Final game of the regular season here for Wilkes Central. Ash County comes in at number two. Only two conference losses all season long. Wilkes Central comes in at third place in the standings with only four conference losses. So this is two good teams here playing today. Yeah, real good teams. Uh, this is also Wilkes Central's senior day. Last time these two teams met, Ash did get the victory. But uh, Wilkes Central's a, a real tough squad. It's always kind of like Wilkes Central and West Wilkes that are going to challenge Ash for that second place spot for Bush, of course, this year is the number one team in the conference. But Wilkes Central can definitely, definitely give Ash a uh, run for their money tonight. Yeah, and really what you're looking at here is on a senior night, as you and I have seen a lot of times before, they seem teams oftentimes raise their level of play, and, and it could be that Wilkes Central comes out here ready to play and has some momentum and motivation tonight. Yeah, I think I think they're going to. I think, you know, this is a big night. There's a lot of fans here out here tonight. So, uh, Ash has got a great starting lineup right there as well. But uh, Wilkes Central, got some good athletes that uh, Ash has got to pay attention to. Yes, yeah, so here we go. Starting lineup here for Wilkes Central. That was number eight. That was. Uh, Tori Andreski. Maggie Boy. Maggie Senior, Boy. Midfielder, number 15, Holly Gonzalez. Holly Gonzalez is number 15. Senior, defender, number 19, Becky Govea. Becky Govea there, number 19. Senior, forward, number 10, Catherine Hernandez. Catherine Hernandez right there, number 10. Senior defender, number 16, Aaron Colstad. Aaron Colstad, number 16, a senior defender. Junior defender, number 12, Courtney Huffman. Courtney Huffman, number 12, she's a defender. Junior midfielder, number zero, Jesse Pardue. Jesse Pardue, the number zero. Yeah, she's their leading scorer as well right there. Junior, Bree the Wall Roten. Goalkeeper, Bree Roten. In the midfield, freshman number 23, Brooke Bentley. Bentley, number 23 right there. She's a freshman. And in the midfield, freshman number two, Sierra Masuko. Sierra Masuko, number two. He was a coach by Uwe Ehrlich, assisted by David Masuko, Davina Binge, and Diego Shafar. Uwe Ehrlich is the head coach. We have the the nearest flag is on the baseball field. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though, Jesse Perdue, we, we saw her last time, Terry. She was a, a real good player in the midfield, battling with Aspen. The seniors are all listed, their jersey numbers. Number eight, number 10, 15, 16, 17, and 19. That's Tori Andreski, Maggie Boyd, Holly Gonzalez, Becky Govia, Catherine Hernandez, and Aaron Kolstad. And so big night here for them tonight, and it really means a lot. You know, it, uh, it, I, we, they didn't do it back in the days when I was playing. You know, you didn't have senior nights. Everybody just kind of figured, you know, you, you just felt that yourself it was the last game. But now they really honor these seniors as they come in to all these different sports. And I think it's something that is really nice and makes it special. A lot of times they bring the parents out. And, and it, but it makes it sadder, I think, Drew, for the players because it really is kind of a big, big night, a big game that adds a lot more emotion to it. Yeah, there's a lot more emphasis on it now than there used to be, like, I guess, like you were talking about, too. And, you know, the players are definitely more aware of it now because they kind of throw it right in their faces, like, this is <laughs> yeah. your last game. So, <laughs> yeah. But uh, tonight, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. 
And Wilk Central does some pretty cool things on their senior night. They actually bring, like, fire trucks down from the local voluntary fire department and give the girls rides around the track and stuff for their senior night. So it is, it's a big night here in Wilk Central, and the fans come out really uh, really in bunches in support. I mean, even, you know, women's soccer here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But it's, a, it's tough taking on Ash in your senior night because we talk about how good Ash is, and they really did dominate the last time these two teams met back in West Jefferson. But uh, we've seen some crazy things on senior night, Terry, and – I have little doubt that it'll be any different tonight. Yeah, and look at the starters there for, for Ash County. We see Becca Bowers and Tyler Eller. Bridget Wilson also in the starting lineups. Natalie Harless, Mac Church, Laura Rodriguez, Chrissy Simmons, Valerie Keyes, of course, Aspen Domsky, Brittany Cripps, and Olivia Bretschneider is uh, – I mean, it's good to have her back. I mean, she's such a fantastic sweeper back there, and she was injured you know, with that concussion uh, earlier in the year and missed her for a number of games and also had some other injuries with Becca was hurt and Valerie was hurt. Valerie and was hurt, yeah. And I'll tell you what, when they were when they were really banged up like that, they they actually suffered one of their losses, and that was to Watauga, and they were taking on a you – know, Watauga's a real good team too, I mean, in 4A. So, uh, but – but Ash kind of, you know, stood their ground there, but they're healthy now, and that's that's the good thing. I mean, you, you want to be playing your best here at the end of the year. Kind of feel like Ash is kind of, you know, right now starting to get healthy towards the their push to the playoffs here. This is uh, it's going to be a fun one right here. And, yeah. of course, Aspen Domsky, Terry, in the last game scored her 100th goal. Yeah. And so we're just coming off the game against West Wilkes. They, they won against West Wilkes just one to nothing. Real low-scoring game, but uh, – that's a big one because West Wilkes challenges Ash County every year for second place in this conference. Mo Molly Colstad there. See number zero. There's She's Purdue. the one you're talking about, Pardue. Yeah. And let's see if Wilkes Central starts strong. There's Rodriguez. Got it, but got it taken back away from her. Yeah, there's. Coming down this right side, looking for a cross coming in, but deflect. And Alyssa Peterson's back there as well, Terry. And you talk about how well she played against. Oh yeah, Alyssa West Peterson Wilkes. was fantastic there at left fullback. Natalie Harless back in there as oh, well. Oh, look at that dribble in there by Natalie coming down that left side, using both her right foot and her left foot. Yeah, Natalie's a real dominant left foot player, but she's a real good one as well, and she can really clear it. She is often used for corner kicks too, Terry, and set pieces because she's you know, so talented there. Becca Bowers trying to get it over there to. To Tyler Eller. But Gizwat goes out for a throw in. And here comes Pardue coming in. And let's see if they get Cripps. start out hard here. They look like they're coming with some intensity to start this ball game out, Drew. It's senior night. I think they've got some enthusiasm here. Yeah, already early you can tell that they're on uh, they're on Ash's side of the field over here, so it's looking pretty good for the Eagles to start. And Ash is such an offensive team. When we talk about them almost always controlling not possession. Yeah, you're right, because it hasn't crossed midfield yet. It's been no. in the end, in the defensive end for Ash County all night so far. Brittany Cripps there is going to take this throw in. We've seen her. She does a great job as a defender. There's in there Bridget in Wilson. Cripps with a nice little clear up into the midfield there, but Wilkes Central is going to take over from the spot. Mac Church, here she comes. Nice little touch there, and now she's going down the left side. Tried to get it to Harless, but actually is going to be knocked away by Wilkes Central. Harless now is going to take the throw. Sierra Masuko then knock that away. And Bridget Wilson's going to take this. It's, in. A, it's funny to watch Wes Rousseau over there on the bench. He's such a cool and calm guy, isn't he? Yeah. He just you know, he's sitting there just relaxed. And, but soccer's a you know it's funny because in if you allow it to, soccer can be more pressure than any other sport. You don't have to do as much in soccer as a coach because, in, like in football, you're just making play, calls. All, everything is strategic, so you're making calls all the time, uh, offensively or defensively, special teams. But in soccer, the thing with football is, you, you know, you can relax a little bit between plays. You know, they can't score right. between when the play's not, when there's no ball in play. When you're in you a know? huddle or something, <laughs> yeah. right, yeah. So you have those little back and forth, back and forth, where it's real intense and then it backs off and real intense and backs off. Whereas in soccer, it's just 40 minutes of just nonstop where you, you, might, get, get, you might give up a goal at any moment, you yeah. know. So it, sometimes it can be more stressful. Yeah, and, and Russo does a real good job back there. He, you, you, you'll see him often just kind of sit on the bench with the players too, but he'll yell out things, and he's real good at noticing where girls are struggling and where they're excelling. And he'll move girls to the left side, the right side, to get them to switch. And he's he is good at that. So yeah. he's an active coach. And he's, I mean, he'll make a lot of substitutions too. You'll see a lot of Husky players play tonight. Yeah, Aaron. 
Throw in there. It's funny because when you look over in Europe, a lot of times it's really strange because a lot of the managers, which they call a head coach or manager over there, the, the manager will actually sit up in the stands, part way up in the stands with oftentimes the chairman of the, of the, of the soccer club. Right. And they'll, he'll sit up there, not even on the bench. He'll sit up there so he has a little bit better view and just kind of sees the way the flow of the whole game is going, and then he can make his adjustments from there. Eller with a good cross in, looking for Domsky there, but it's deflected out. But see, the difference is in professional soccer, you've only allowed three substitutes. So you, right. you're not going to make And once constant. they're subs, I think they're, yeah, they're that's in. That's it. Yeah. They, got, they can't go back in. Right. So the thing is with high school, you're free substitution. So Wes has to make a whole lot more decisions than a, than a professional soccer manager does. Right, yeah. So Wes Russo can, you know, sub in and out as he, as he chooses here. And yeah. Give girls a little bit of breaks. It's a little bit more like basketball because you, you can kind of save your players for maybe a late, late push in the end of the half or something yeah. like that. Aaron Colstead with the goal kick there gets it out. And that's Holly Gonzalez. Tyler. Here comes Tyler Eller. Eller. Got some room. Might try to cross, cross it in. Good oh, cross. and a beautiful cross gets to Mac Church off, kind of off her, her upper body, and it's yeah. going to roll out, but it's going to be a corner. Should be a corner kick, yeah. Aaron Colston actually knocked that one out, just trying to get rid of the threat there. But now she's going to get a corner kick. Well, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to take this. Looks like Natalie's like going to come and go with the left footer in swinging, then it means. Yeah. And she's really good at these set pieces from this corner. She can really, really strike with her left foot. She and Rodriguez both starting here tonight. Both of them play extremely well and oftentimes at the same position there. Stopper. Oh, nice. Oh, oh man. Wow. Tell you what, that was almost knocked in by, yeah. by uh, one of West Wilkes' own – or Wilkes Central's own players there. Yeah, she got her foot on it, but it kind of def it deflected it, but it didn't really stop it. It almost it made it harder for the goalkeeper. She had, the goalkeeper had to make an adjustment there. That was Maggie Boyd that actually hit that. Yeah, and Bree wrote and did a nice reaction save there to that keep was, it from going in. That was close right oh, there. Oh, look at Aspen. She races down and gets it, brings it back to her right foot, and slides in, but it's knocked, knocked away. Natalie's going to get the throw in. Yeah, Harless looking to throw in Ooh, and there's the ball. Gets a nice little head on there. Becca over to Mac Church, but now it looks like Wilkes Central is on the attack. Yeah, they got it in the midfield here. Th Pardue there's Pardue with a nice ball up there to the, the left side. And oh, oh, and back to, uh, just across the face, a little deflection. Yeah, she was looking for a give and go there, and she got it back, but couldn't control it. Yeah, it was a little deflection of the defender there for Ash County. Just got a little tiny piece of it and changed it enough that Jesse couldn't actually uh, be able to adjust to it. There's a ball. Nice job there. Alyssa Peterson getting it up. Peterson's played really well in some recent games, too. Oh, yeah, real well. There's that's a foul right there. It might be push on push on Aspen there. I don't think it's going to. Hey, I would have thought Man. it would have gone the other way, if anything. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I thought she pushed Ashton. Aston. Ashton. <laughs> but uh, anyway. And there it is. Knock up ahead. Natalie Harless fighting there with number two for. That's Sierra Masuki. Masuchi. There he goes. Going to left foot. Oh, this could be a shot. Oh, oh, and it went through. Up past Chrissy. Right by Chrissy Simmons there. And Wilkes Central strikes first. So it was actually, it was a, yeah, it was, it was there. She was in front of it. Just not able to no, hang on. I think it surprised her that it went to her left. She was ready to make a, a dive to the right there. And slipped by her left side. We showed the replay there and just slid right by her. One nothing, Wilkes Central early, Terry. Yeah, so less than seven minutes into less it. Than seven, yeah. Wow. I'll tell you what, though, Wilkes Central's kind of dominated the possession so far early. I mean, Ash has gotten a few shots down there, a good corner kick, but other than that, Wilkes Central strikes first. Yeah, so Wilkes Central comes in with a good record, eleven and seven overall, eleven and four in the conference, sitting in third place. A victory here tonight would give Ash their third conference loss, which would. But they would still finish one game above Wilkes Central. Right. And there's the ball, and here's Wilkes Central again, putting some pressure on. Rook Bentley there in the midfield, working hard. Becca Bowers with it. Oh, Bentley's and a nice ball. slide there. Real good slide. Good tackle yeah. from Rook Bentley. Becca, yeah, though, Becca got a little down. shaken yeah. up because that could really, you could get hurt like that. It's a clean tackle, but at the same time, it's very physical play. Yeah, it looked pretty clean. Ash throws in here. Well, 
Goes in and it's going to be knocked out there by Tyler Eller. Good defense. And it's going to be thrown in now by number 17. That's Maggie Boyd. Gets it up to the. And here we have on the attack. Keats around the outside, gets around Mac Church, gets it back. Oh, inside here and give and go. But a beautiful job, Alyssa. Peterson, no, Peterson yeah. was a fantastic play there. She read yeah, it all she really the way. Did. Yeah, that, that was a nice give and go actual play by, by Wilk Central, but yeah. uh, better job on the defense. There it is. Going back to Brooke Bentley. Bentley back down into the corner and a nice cross in. Nice and looking for a through ball right there. Just didn't get it in there. Laura Rodriguez with a good header to clear it over to Becca Bowers, but it doesn't get very far. Only goes back as far as Holly oh, yeah, Gonzalez. Yeah. Yeah. Alyssa now coming forward from the left fullback. Pushes it up to Valerie Keys. First time we've seen Keys really with the ball. And a nice through ball rolling up ahead. Watch Aspen and, and flying oh, ahead. Oh, man. Oh, man. She was flying there. She was. And the goalkeeper, Roten, came out. And it was right at the top of the 18-yard box. She had to use her foot. It's not out of it yet. Valerie Keys now gets it down to Tyler Eller. Eller's got Eller's a shot here. Oh, Ooh. just a little bit high up through the uprights. But a little bit high into the right. Yeah, but. but good offense right there by the Huskies, though. I mean, they were moving the thing around, and Valerie Keyes was so good at setting things up there. For yeah, the beautiful through ball from yeah. Valerie. It just rolled right to the 18-yard box. Roten right. couldn't take a chance on touching it with her hands because she could have, might have been outside the box there, so she had to just barely kick it away before Aspen could fly in to get it. So Maggie Boyd's going to be taking this goal kick here for Wilk Central. It's a good little clear there, up, right up to Tyler Eller. Though, and she's battling. Ooh, Eller's Eller. going to knock it out, it looks like. Yeah, so it'll be a look central throw in. Catherine Hernandez and her were battling there. Yeah, a throw, but Becca, Becca Bowers, Bowers, good ball down in the corner. Valerie Keyes with some great speed. She's going to get to it first. Keyes looking for a cross if she can get it here. Nice ball right there, right to the top. Oh, oh Becca. Becca got another chance. <laughs> Oh, oh, what a save. Too. Man. Look, Becca got two looks there. One with her right foot, one with, with her left, left foot. Yeah. She actually hit it better with the left. I think she just missed it with the right. Yeah, that was a beautiful ball there coming in. The keys has been setting it up, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she has. Bree Roten, though, with, some great, with a great save there for Wilk Central. Yeah, it was. Throwing down the right, left side. Ooh, oh, Olivia, Olivia misses Brechner it. Misses. Don't see that's, that happen. No, that's real rare. But she recovers and gets it back out on a beautiful pass to Tyler Eller. Yeah, what, what vision to find her. 2-0 oh, is taken away. And down into the corner, and Brittany, oh, Pardue Olivia. Was there, but Olivia and her, and Olivia's going to knock it out. Pardue put so much pressure on. She's got some excellent speed, too. That's actually deflected off Pardue. So Cripps is going to throw this. Here's Crip throwing it in, and it's going to be. It's going to stay in. It stays in. Yeah. Bridget Wilson knocks it up to Bowers. Bowers tries to get it in their pass. Wilson recovers it. Doesn't get it very far. Gets to Brooke Bentley. Intercepts it. And Mac Church tries to come in. Wilson now in the, doing a good job there in a stopper. Valerie's there as well, yeah. Valerie there. Tyler Eller. Knocked out. Some good battles going on here in midfield. Yeah, I tell you what, midfield's where the game's won, though. Yeah. This is where you, here's Pardue, and look at this footwork here. Working on Bridget Oh, and a square layer, up. flat pass across the middle of Bentley. Bentley's going to try and run this one down before it's cleared up. Ash is, having, is playing a little bit deep here. I tell you, yeah. every when the ball starts to get cleared, it ends up coming right back from Inside. a Wilkes Central player again. So they're just sitting on it right there. and. Ash is having a lot of difficulty getting it forward. Well, there comes this Valerie time. Keys, yeah. and they'll back off her. She's got great footwork. Looks for a pass up to Domsky, and it's knocked out. Over there, Church might get to this. Nope. Back Church throws it in, though. Into Valerie Keys. You mentioned that Aspen Domsky, a great long jumper and triple jumper for Ash County. She's a conference champion. Yeah, real in, explosive in athlete. Oh! Almost got that. Nice job. Again, by Bree Roten to come out and save that. Because Domsky was right there. Mac Church also very good in the distance run, 3,200 meter. There, oh, not able to save it. Pardue trying to. Tyler Eller is going to get it here for the throw in. And gets it in quickly to Brooke. Becca Bowers there. Becca Bowers. 
Holly Gonzalez doing a good job back there on the defensive side. Alyssa uh, Peterson. Alyssa, nice ball over here to Mac Church. Church. Church gets it inside to Valerie Keys. Valerie Keys, a nice turn. Another. Oh, Aspen going to look for Mac. Give and go Valerie. with Valerie. Valerie oh, takes the shot. Oh, man. That was some nice passing there in a real tight spot. Yeah, I tell you what, Aspen did a, a real nice job setting up Valerie. We've seen Valerie been setting up her teammates, and Aspen looking for the assist there. Well, we just wanted to get a little bit more strike on that. And missed it wide to the right. Ash has really got more threatening shots so far early. Yeah. Wilkes is central. has got the lone goal. Valerie knocks it back in, and Roten's going to go over here and, whoa, and pick it up. Up this ball. Oh, she's going to throw it out, trying to get it, control it down this right side. Nice pass there. Wilkes Central's just winning the balls in the midfield right now. Oh, Pardue. Pardue working on Crips, and Crips. she does knock it through. Oh, and a nice play there. That's number 13 for Jasmine Robinson. Jasmine so. Robinson. Oh, there's a shot. shot. Oh, oh, my oh. goodness. What a shot from about 30 yards out, and it was just barely above the crossbar. Yeah, just lifted up and over, and that's a that's a real tough save for Chrissy Simmons because she's not the tallest goalkeeper, so shots high like that are tough for her. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot. Bridget Wilson coming out. Now we see Alexis Parks coming in. Alexis got some good footwork over here, and oftentimes she does. comes down this wide right side. Yeah, real underrated footwork. She does have, she does have some really good footwork back there. And there's the Chrissy with the goal kick, and here comes Parks, and she nice pass up ahead. And here real goes Valerie nice Keys. Here Valerie come. got a chance, looking ahead to Aspen. Aspen's going to turn and go, and she might get a shot off right here. Just Good makes, defense, though. Yeah, real tough angle for Aspen, but a great pass again from Valerie Keys. And Alexis is putting some pressure on. Yeah, but this time, nice movement. Wilkes Central seems to be able to match him for speed, really, right now. There's Robinson getting it across. Shot! Oh, Ooh. just lifted up and over. That was Domsky. Yeah, she just lifted it a little too high, but actually got good power on that. Yeah, very well played right here. Both teams looking very good. Uh, Wilkes Central got the one goal that Chrissy unable to Yeah, it just kind of slipped by her. It was yeah. kind of. That's the thing with the soccer ball. You really kind of got to get your, on those low shots, you got to get your arms in and, you know, and use some of your forearms and even your bicep area to control it because being a round ball, Aspen with a steal. Aspen steals it right off the goal kick, and here she comes. Got a chance, drops Crosses over to Valerie Keys. Keys. Keys now trying to take a shot off the left side. Oh, oh. good angle, but it's deflected. And now, oh, right here, Alexis, Alexis Parks. Parks. Take a shot. And it's deflected oh, again. One. Parks is going to get another oh, shot. Oh, man. I tell you what, they're just right around the goal mouth, and they couldn't get one in. That was some great opportunities there. Oh. It looked like Parks had a great shot at it. Yeah. She, I think she had that far inside the far post there on that last attempt there, but it was excellent defense by, by the central defender to, to block it. Man, I'll tell you what, that ball just sat in front of the goal mouth, though, it seemed like. And they yeah, got it did. A lot of shots at it. You couldn't get one to fall, though. Pardue and Mac Church both with some great speed racing for it. Yeah, Pardue's dropped back a little far for her. She comes up with it here. Gets it across. Nice job of dropping that back. Drops it back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, oh, tries to get it up ahead to Robinson, but a little bit wide, goes out. Nearing the halfway point, just about 21 and a half minutes left. Crips. This first half. Throws it in there, trying to find Alexis Oh, nice move there, beautiful job. That's number eight, Tori Andreski. Here goes Andreski, coming shot. in! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Tell you what, it went right. Hand? I think so, yeah. Looked like it at first might have been her stomach, but I think it is her hand. Yeah, I think she, she made a save with it. Ooh, but you it, know what? You can jam a finger so easily there. You never know. Yeah, she stuck it up, and it was a beautiful save because, I mean, it was point-blank shot, one-on-one yeah. on one against the goalkeeper. She may have injured her wrist, actually, too. It could be a thumb. It could be a finger. It could be the wrist, even. Well, Chrissy's, Chrissy's a unique player. If she's not able to play the rest of the game in goal... I mean, they'll drop Virginia Johnson back there, and she does a great job as well, and they can move Chrissy up forward. Yeah. I mean, that's the good thing about her, but I don't – I mean, it's hard to see from our angle here exactly how bad the hand is. Brittany Cripps there seems like she's a well-trained 
medical trainer. She was down there looking after Chrissy while waiting. She took her glove off. and uh, Yeah, Cripps and, and Chrissy both have a, a real good relationship. I guess you kind of know that as a defender and your goalie, you, you often got to work together. But that was a, just a point-blank shot, and Chrissy just with a reaction threw her hand up quickly to the right and, and stopped it and deflected it out for a corner kick, but a beautiful save. But I think because she had to react so quickly, it probably hit right on the end of what could maybe her thumb. And it just jammed it, or you could even fracture a oh, yeah. thumb like that with a ball hit that hard. West Russo down there as well. Over. This is the same crew, actually, Terry, that uh, officiated the West Wilkes game, the, the one down at West Wilkes that was so physical. You remember, oh, yeah. Remember how physical that was? But it got out of control. Just, didn't yeah, it? just taking a look here at the at the referee and crew. So I guess they know this Husky team's a physical bunch, but I guess you kind of have to be to be a good team. So Chrissy's still talking with Russo down there. Let's see what she does. That's the thing with soccer in high school. You can you can take her off and let her sit out for a while and see how she does. You know, if it, if it was a professional match, then if you t you know you'd have to either leave her in or take her out. But if you took her out, she she couldn't come back in. So here comes Virginia Johnson coming in to replace her, and we've seen Virginia played really well back there too. So oh yeah, Virginia's made some real good saves so far this year. Here's the corner kick, yeah, and we see the. Two players lined up on the post there. I think it's Alexis Parks here on the near post and maybe Alyssa Peterson over on the far post. Yeah, and they got Purdue dropped there. Now, a lot of times you'll see Ash do this. Yeah, they, it's a short corner they if they bring short. an extra player out. And what, what, caught, what happens then is that they try to test it, and if the defense doesn't send somebody out, they end up with a, a two-on-one type situation or a two-on-none. And, and so Ash County, though, sent two players out there and forced them to stop it. So here comes Purdue on the... On the ball, oh, into the side of the net there. It's the side of the net. So Virginia will drop it to Olivia Brettschneider, and Brettschneider now is going to take the goal kicks, and she can really bomb it. Yeah, she's got a real strong leg. Chrissy normally takes it if she's in, but if Virginia's in, then Olivia takes it. And there's Valerie, Valerie Keys, Keys, nice ball, Alexis. Ooh, just right through Alexis Parks there. That was a good pass, though. Yeah, it was. Beautiful job and a good job from Alexis coming forward and getting to the space, just not able to control it. And back in Pardue, squares it off. Alyssa Peterson Bentley fighting again. for it. Yeah, Bentley with nice. Drops oh, and it, Pardue and Cripps is going to get there. And here comes Alexis, Alexis Parks. Parks. Robinson, though, runs in and just takes it off her foot. Robinson with some excellent speed. Long ball up ahead. Olivia it's her left foot, knocks it away. Brett Schneider, if you want, notice her number zero, she's going to stay deeper than anybody for Ash in that sweeper roll. Ooh. Ooh, nice job by Virginia. Those are tough because they're deflected. You really yeah. know where they're going to spin. It had a lot of spin on that thing. And as I was mentioning earlier, I didn't quite finish it. But being a round ball, you know, it doesn't have any real grip to it because they're slippery. So it's very easy. If you don't get a lot of your arms and stuff around that ball, it's easy to slip through your hands if it's a hard hit, especially a hard hit ball. Yeah. You see, the goalies often field it like a like a punt or yeah. something. Like a, I mean, yeah, with their arms in and kind of use their body a bit and use their forearms and their elbows and, and biceps and everything to try to control it. Oh, nice ball there. Good dribbling. Beautiful oh, job nice by job Andreski. Andreski coming in, got a chance. Oh, oh, and Olivia brings her down. That should be a, probably going to be a penalty here. Yeah, that was a trip. She stuck her right foot out to... Try and get her to get away from the goal, but she can pick up a car too. Yeah, that's a yellow, yellow card. card on Olivia. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that she necessarily deserved a card, but but I think but yeah. you had to give it as a, a penalty inside but, the box because Andreski was going right by her and was going to get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. The funny thing is, if you talk to Wes Russo, he will swear up and down that Olivia Brettschneider is his most physical player. And we always talk about how good she is back there, and we always talk yeah. about you know, Valerie Keys and Aspen being real physical. But he says that Olivia just gets away with it. She just does it smart. <laughs> so Here's Tori Andreski. Andreski going to take it here and shoots it into the corner and gets just barely past the diving Virginia Johnson. So Andreski there now with the goal. And it was a beautiful finish there on that. Yeah. Yeah, great job. Now Wilkes Central has a 2-0 lead on Ash. And this is 
A little surprising. Ash has gotten the better looks, it seems like, but man, look central. 2 0. Yeah, and that was Andreski there. Really was a finisher on that one. Just clinically put it into that into the left corner there. Just passed it. Virginia Johnson guessed right. Dove in the correct direction. Had most of the goal covered to that side, but it was a beautifully placed ball from Andreski. Yeah, this yeah. is this is tough sledding here though for Ash because yeah. Book Central's played really well and it's going to be two nothing right now. Yeah, Valerie Keys gets it in. Robinson, I tell you, athletically, they Book Central matches up really well. Yeah, yeah because they they've got some real good speed there, and you see a lot of times they'll just oh wow oh here this we go is some great play right there. Yeah, it was and Pardue. Oh Pardue. Par oh, and there's Brett Schneider quickly back in, and she knocks that away. That's a nice shot by Brett Schneider. Stop the threat from Pardue coming up. Tell you what, that was a, some great ball movement up ahead. Yeah, oh, there's Andreski again. She's going to square to Pardue. Pardue! Pardue. Oh! oh! It's lifted up off the side there, looks oh. like. I couldn't tell where that went in, but. I don't. It, it looked like it, it looked like it, at first, like it was hit the underside of the crossbar. I think they're giving him a goal. goal. It looked like it hit the, the way it reacted. It looked like it hit the underside of the crossbar, like it was a goal, and it hit the ground bound. But then it suddenly it was outside the whole netting. I don't know. Yeah, it exactly looks... what happened. But I mean, it looked initially like it was good, and it, maybe it went through the maybe it went through the net and from the side. Like there must be a hole there or something. Yeah, there's a little gap there. Because I actually, it looked the way it reacted, it was hit underneath something, and there's nothing out wide of the goal that it can that it can uh, hit. So it it had to be the crossbar. If it hits underneath the crossbar and bounces down, it has to be in because. It, and here's Wes Russo is going to complain, but it was strange because it looked like it was in, and then the next thing you know, it was out. Jesse Pardue. So Pardue is giving credit for the goal, and Wes Russo is going to make his case here. Saying how how would it go in when it comes out the side there? And I guess that's maybe because of the, the gap in the net. We'll we'll try and go ahead and take a look at the uh, the instant replay on this, but this is gonna be interesting. As it comes in. Yeah, I see I think it was in. I think it's in. Let's see it in slow motion here. And it goes in. Oh, underneath it. Yeah, it looks like it hit the, the top back. Yeah. Of the bar on the side. But it it almost looks like it looked like it went up. It looked like it went up through, and it, it, like it hit at the roof of the net, and then somehow it came out sideways, like on that bar, that bar on the yeah. top right corner, and shot out sideways. Yeah. So it must have been that linesman's the one that made the call. She must have seen it, thought she saw it real clearly, and so I think it was. I think that's probably the right call. I mean, it it's very strange. You know, we've not seen that happen before. Where it comes out no. a hole at the top, but. But I really think that that was, by the reaction, the initial reaction of the ball, it bounced downward. It appeared to come downward when it hit the roof of the net. If it was outside of the net, it, it wouldn't react that way. It would have hit it and just kind of deflected off and kept going upwards, you know? Wes is going to stop disagreeing here. I mean, he's got a strong point. I mean, and the fact is, you and I have seen it like three times. Right, and if you don't see it, but it was no. just one time, you, you and you're Wes Russo, speed. you got to think it's yeah. off the side because it actually came out the side of the net. So he's thinking, well, it just hit the side of the net. Uh, how'd that go in? But I don't really think that from the angle she was standing at when she hit the ball, she was in front of the goal. I don't know how you could hit the side of the net. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're going to come take a look at this, though. Yeah. It had to be hit at such an angle, though. Yeah. I don't think there's a necessarily a hole in the net. There's actually a hole in the gaps where the net's tied up to the post up there. Yeah. And they're going to try to fix these things here, which they really should have had to begin with. But, yeah, because she wasn't to the – if there, there's no way really she could have hit the outside of the net because she was inside the framework of the goal when she took the shot. So you, you couldn't – she wasn't coming from the right side to where it could – Right, she was in front of it. Yeah, she, she was in front, front of the goal mount. So she couldn't hit the outside of the net from that position. <laughs> they got some fans going back and forth. And Wolf Central's 
Wilkes Central's ta yelling over that it's three to nothing, you know, trying to rub it in a little bit, and we'll see what Ash County does about making a, a comeback here if I'll they can. i tell you can. what, though, Ash has got to be stunned right now. It was three nothing Wilkes Central, and Ash beat this team pretty handily last time, so, I mean, for it to be three nothing right now. Yeah, and really, it's it's not a... In one way, it's not a bad thing that the clock stopped and they can gra get their heads a little bit, you know, because because you're right, they, they're a little bit stunned. They, there was two goals they scored within the space of about a minute, you know. Right. And then suddenly became three to nothing. So here we go. So Ash County's gonna, Husky's gonna have, kick it off here. We got Valerie Keys and Aspen Domsky standing over the ball. There's the whistle. Keys is going to drop it back. Ooh, and here comes Peterson. I'll tell you what, this is where Wilk Bentley. Central's been so good in the midfield. Boy, I tell you what, I'm impressed by this Wilk Central team. Olivia just going to try to oh, get us up the field. Nice job. Gets it to Keys. Keys, Keys up, swings it back. This is what she's so good at. Is, her dribbling. Yeah, her dribbling is something. Gets it to Domsky. Domsky holds it up there from the striker position. Swings it over to Wilson. Wilson brings it inside, but gets it taken away. Nice job on Bridget Wilson. Here comes Pardue again. Pardue splits the defense. Splits it, yeah. Now she's against Olivia. And oh. It's going to fall through. And there's Jeannie Johnson. That was, that was good offense, though. Yeah. Almost got by Brett Schneider there, too. Got to be very careful, Virginia, on, on that kicking it there, on handling it. Not, don't get too close to that line. Step over it. 18 yard box. And here we go down this right side. And Dresky. Drops up ahead. Oh, no, across inside Bentley, and then Robinson. Oh, tried to out. bend it around and get it in that far post, but not able to. No, and a good job by the defensive Ash there. Comes so Rousseau good. calling out there. He's Rousseau's got a. Russo knows now. He's, he's got to coach him up with it being 3 nothing right now. <laughs> yeah. He's I mean, like, man, I. Yeah, he thought he was going to come in. What he bargained for. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right. Pardue. Oh, Pardue again got right here. Brett got an opportunity. The only one there. Gets around. Brett Schneider is going to take a shot. Oh, oh and it's going to be out. Rodriguez. Reflected off Rodriguez. There should be a corner kick here. Rodriguez stopped it, but it ended up going out. And that's going to be a corner, and we're going to see. It looks like. Masuko. Masuko. Yeah. Masuko, yeah. And here she comes. Sierra launching in. Beautiful ball, and Virginia in the right spot. Yeah, those are great for headers right there, but Virginia just comes in and takes it. Nice job by her. She set it up for Andreski, though. Yeah, in case you missed it, if you were, didn't turn the match on until recently, of Chrissy Simmons, the starting goalkeeper. At one to nothing, got her injured and yeah. injured her hand there with a making a great save. And I think she might have either jammed some fingers or, or twisted her wrist when she poked her hand out to make that save. And she's out. She's still over there. Yeah. And there's nothing Virginia could have done to make any of the saves that since then. The two goals that have occurred. One was a penalty kick, and right. one was just a beautiful point blank shot at the roof of the net from Pardue. Yeah. Oh, here we go. She's coming down. Got Robinson on the left side. Gets it to She's Robinson. It to Robinson's her. probably going to try to cross it back in, but Rodriguez. Watch, you don't, can't get a handball there. That yeah, was close. Yeah, that was real close. You're right, because he was laying down. And, oh, oh over across the, the square. Off, and here's a shot. A nice Ooh. job by Virginia, but that was almost a handball back there by. Yeah, I've seen that happen before, laying down like that, and the ball gets kicked, and you get touch it with your hand, and then you're in the 18-yard box area. That's a penalty kick again. Yeah, even if it's almost if it's like even kicked into your hand, it can yeah. be a hand. Oh yeah. And so Pardu. Pardu. Oh, tried to get it in there, but good job there from yeah. Harless, I think it was. It got a piece of it. And, and Bentley Church kicks it up. Bentley fighting with Valerie Keys. Keys oh, knocks it. Bentley nice down. Nice move by Keys. Here comes Keys. Oh, almost split the defense. But got it over to Aspen. Now Aspen Keys goes coming back to forward. Keys. Oh. Oh, nice clear up ahead. Just as far as Harless, Harless gets to kick it with her left foot up ahead again to Keys is there. It's knocked out. It's knocked out there by number 17, Maggie Boyd, one of the senior defender for Wilkes Central. 
Well, Central looks awful good right now. And the crazy thing is, this is probably one of the best games we've seen Valerie Keys even play in the first half. And Ash hasn't scored. Yeah. I mean, that's the. Here comes Becca, Chrissy Simmons. Becca Bowers, Chrissy Simmons. You're right. She's going to go up front because I guess with that in, she's running very gingerly with that right hand, seems to not be swinging freely. So you're, they've put her up front because you figure her hand's, I guess, too injured to play goal. But she's very good up here as well. I actually like this lineup from Ash uh, with Virginia in the goal and, and, and Chrissy coming up. And you're up. right. And it could be that she's such a good attacker there, Chrissy, that down three to nothing, they're going to try to get her up front there anyway, even if her hand was better they might would make I think they decision. would have anyway yeah. yeah Ash Ash tends to do this when they find themselves down they'll they'll pull Chrissy Simmons from the goal and put her up as a striker just to get a little bit more yeah. offense oh. going oh. nice job clearing it and Olivia, Olivia with Schneider a nice slide there yeah. but and it's gonna be stay in bounds Olivia does a good job and then kicks it out it's gonna force a throw in here by Wilkes Central yeah, when Ash normally is down, though, they, they do pull Chrissy Simmons from the goal and put Virginia back there. Oh, long ball up ahead. Throw. That was beautiful. But Olivia in the perfect spot. Becca Bowers now turns and knocks it out. But you're, what you're seeing right now is a team that's really sitting back on their heels. I mean, but, you know, nothing really flowing forward. Becca no. just had to turn and hit it, and there wasn't anybody there. I mean, she all she could do is get it out and let Look Central come back at him again. Robinson. Oh, nice job. Robinson again drops it into the middle here. Wook Central is just so far ahead right now. Yeah. On the offensive side, and they. Purdue saves it. Yeah, she does. Nice move. Look at gets down along oh, the baseline. Great move. Squares on it. Oh, outside of the right foot, Andreski. She just lifted it up too high. She got a good look, though. She did. That was a beautiful ball there. I mean, that's a real danger. You get along that baseline about 10 to. 20 yards away from the goal and you just get it back square it back over to the pull it back to the middle of the goal gosh Brett Schneider difficult gets to defend yeah, well Wilk Central's been in total control here though in this second half of this uh, first half I guess the second yeah. part of this first half and there's Chrissy racing for it but unable to control but it's going to go out and it's going to be a throw in here for Ash County I mean, when's the last time we've seen Ash take a shot from here yeah it's been all Wilkes Central. They've just they're playing really deep right now because Wilkes Central is on the attack. So it's hard to get out. And that we've talked about it sometimes in previous games. You start playing too deep, you can't get it out because you start to you kick it to try to clear it and there's nobody there. There's nobody there, yeah. There's nobody there. And so right now it's almost like Ash has only got one play. Oh shot! Oh what a save! Oh, here's Robinson! Oh, oh wow! Robinson could have cleaned that up. Yeah, she could have because Virginia had to really jump just to knock it out of the goal mouth. Robinson was there. Oh, beautiful job there from Alyssa Peterson. But Andreski. Andreski. Oh, whoa. man. Tell you what, and Virginia Johnson had to dive again. She dove, and I think she had that near post covered, but barely. And the ball went wide. And here is Brett Schneider. But right now, it appears that Ash has really only got the one striker up top. and They're then, really on their heels right now. And the defenders, and here comes across here now. Oh, nice shot by Andreski again, but it's deflected I tell out. You, this Andreski and Pardue combination is really tough. Here's Becca Bowers, and she if she can hold it up and let some of her oh, yeah, teammates that, get forward, that's big. Yeah, the problem is, is that they're so deep that it takes them a long time to get to get forward. up, yeah. Here comes Mack. Mack can almost hold it a second, too. Ooh, oh, deflection. And here it comes. Good job stealing that. Right down there. That was Holly oh, Gonzalez yeah. that stole that. And this gets poked away, and it's going to be a throw in here for Wolf Central. He's on the attack again. So anyway, it's not looking good if you're a Husky fan right now, though. Three nothing. And there, the it's all in. it's all Eagles. Oh, here we go, Pardue, Pardue. coming down the left side. Hits by Cripps again. Beautiful ball. Oh, Andreski trying to find room, and she's got it. Andreski takes a shot, and it just goes I think it off and off deflected. The, yeah. Did it hit the post? There? I think I think it was uh, Brett Schneider that might have got a, a body on it. I don't know if it hit the post. It was deflected out. So here we go. It should be a corner kick, though. Andreski's going to take it here. We saw Pardute. No. Oh. That's Sierra Masuko. Yeah. Here she comes with a nice ball in far post. That was a, a good swing. Long. Yeah. Oh, is that Becca Bowers? And that's Harless. Harless coming forward. There's a the ball, a beautiful header there from Brittany Cripps. Peterson, two heads it. 
Nice job by Mac Church to try and get it out of there too. Church, Up to Chrissy there. Simmons and there. There's a little bit of a push, push and yeah. a call against Gonzalez. And that's gonna give a free kick opportunity and Reggie's gonna come forward and take it. Olivia with a real strong leg, kicks it up ahead. And, so. and here comes. And here comes Valerie. Valerie. Valerie with a nice ball, gets a good Taylor defense. May. Yeah, Taylor Ta May, that we've seen her in the ball game now. And it was a good job there from Courtney Huffman back in defense. Come on, you boys. Leave it. Leave it. Valerie's going to pass it back here. Close it in here. Becca Bowers battling in the midfield again. Gets it taken away. Man. And here come the Eagles again. Oh, Pardue gets by Alyssa Harless. Peterson was forward making that throw, and here comes Pardue. Harless it's is doing a good job here. Oh, oh, good contact. And then a takedown, and we got a whistle. I think that's going to be another one. That is another one. Man, and that was Olivia's, a takedown by Olivia. Olivia's playing with on a yellow card. I know, and that's, that's risky there. Well, he was about to give it to her, too. Yeah, and Cripps is making the claim here that she tripped. I think she's making a claim she tripped over Olivia, but I think Olivia was Olivia did a good job of taking her down. Let's just say that. It was a, it was a full blown collision it right was, there. Yeah. And then they both kind of, and then Olivia's Olivia went backwards and then it was almost. I think they were trying to get up and then Olivia knocked her down. I think Olivia was trying to get up. But the referee pulled the yellow card out of his pocket and he, if, but then I think he realized it was Olivia and he didn't really think maybe it was enough to send her off. Two yellows make a red, and she's out for the rest of the, the match. But so I think he, put, and then he put it back away. Here comes Pardue, going to put it. Oh. oh, and she clinically puts it in the same spot that Andreski did earlier. Man, work Central four nothing over Ash. Two penalties, one controversial goal, and one that slipped by Chrissy. And we're sitting here with what 9:49 to play this first half, and and even though the the play has been I mean, the last sort of eight to ten minutes, Wilkes Central's had the better of it, but only after it got to three to nothing. Up until then, you could arguably say that it was pretty even. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, Wilkes Central's got the four goals, and that's the thing. And Ash hasn't scored yet, and really hasn't generated any offense in you know, about twenty minutes or so. Yeah. Whole Wes over there, he's he's stating his case, but he's very relaxed still. I mean, he doesn't. He's down four nothing, and he's still. Calm. Well, I mean, you can. I would, you know, I really think one thing he could be saying was the initial collision occurred just outside the 18 yard box. And then they kind of fell back in, and then she tripped over Olivia. Olivia and went down about a yard and a half inside the box. But you could arguably say that it was a continuation of the initial contact that was outside the box. If it was outside the box, it wouldn't have been a, a penalty kick. It would have just been a free kick from that point. So here we go. Becca Bowers, Becca Bowers it up. She's playing hard here. Guys get it down the side there to Mac Church, but a little bit long and wide. So we got four nothing. It's unusual to see you got two penalty kicks, one a controversial one that shot out the side of the net, evidently, after hitting the roof of the net. Nice job by Valerie on the header, yeah. And the other oh, one was Valerie wanted. came up and gave a little bump there. Yeah. Sometimes you do see Ash get real physical whenever they get behind they get like down. this. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they do. They, they get real physical. There was a foul there, which is a good trait. I mean, it's a competitive trait. I mean, you're losing. you Then you raise your game and go even tougher. And you, we've seen that happen a lot of times with Valerie and Aspen and – Olivia's got to be careful because she's got a yellow card already. She right. can't really do it we've much. We've seen Brittany Brooke. and Becca. Becca we've seen Becca yeah. Bowers get one. I mean, yeah. It's really Valerie. Valerie Keys is the one that, that is <laughs> blatantly obvious. Yeah. yeah but. She's the one that gets it going. There's the ball. Oh, and, and there we a, see it. Yeah. Right there. That's what we're talking about. Becca Bowers going right through Pardue. Yeah. That was like a, looked like a curl route in football. <laughs> yeah, it just knocked and the, and the safety came from behind and just cleaned out the receiver before yeah. the ball got there. Yeah. Pass interference. We'll pass interference on that one. <laughs> so here we have Maggie number 17, Baggy Boyd. She's going to take it with the left yeah, foot. Baggy Boyd. And Boyd's got a good shot from here, too, with the lefty foot. Lifts Ooh, it up and over. And that's a tough little bounce, but it's going to go wide. You're right, though. Ash is really physical. I mean, you talk about how good they are this season, record-wise. 
And they're not a great finesse team. I mean, they're not one that's going to make pinpoint passes to each other. They, they kind of pass to space. They're just so aggressive and physical. And that's that's how they that's how they beat West Wilkes. The last two times we've seen play West Wilkes was just they made it a physical game, and that's where they succeed. Yeah, well, it's unusual because you know a lot of times you'll see some physical players on a team, usually back in defense, you know, in some, in, in the central midfield. Right. You don't usually see the the aggressive ones up front the way Aspen and Valerie are. I mean, you you get, you get strikers. That can that are really aggressive. That's an unusual combination of you know, strikers by nature are more like wide receivers in football. You don't see a whole lot of wide receivers that love to block. For yeah. instance, you know, yeah. you see more glamour sort of guy. Oh, here comes Pardue. Pardue's got, got a, a good shot here. Oh my goodness! Drops it in. Oh, nice deflection there. I think that was, was made by Harless. Harless yeah. did a great job there. Otherwise, Pardue was going to get a fifth. Man, so Wilkes Central threatening again. Nice job by Harless. But yeah, you don't usually see the strikers. They're more of the glamour sort of ones that score. But yeah. but the thing is, Aspen's just a phys she's just a great player, and then Valerie is a physical striker, and so and they really they can change this game. It's not over, even though I mean, it's still a lot of time to be different. It was four nothing, and there's like 15 minutes left or 12 minutes left. Right. But we're still talking first half right now. Yeah. So I mean, there's still lots of time. Yeah, and Valerie is. Like you said, Valerie's so good with her footwork as well. That's why she makes a great striker for her physical play. But um, Ash, you're, Ash doesn't have a whole lot of girls in the back that are they're going to rough you up. I mean, Cripps will do it, and, and Brett Schneider will do it. But <laughs> yeah. other than that, you're right. It's, Here it is coming down, and there's racing for it there, Laura Rodriguez. Rodriguez, Rodriguez gives a little hit there, and it's knocked out. It's going to be a goal kick opportunity here. And uh -huh. Clock's running down here in this opening half. Down to about seven minutes to play. Let's see if Ash County finds some way to, to get a goal. I mean, a lot of times it's like this and you see in football where a team gets way behind. If they can just get some momentum before, right before the half. Right break, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they need they, if they can get a goal and cut it to three, it, it's, it's really going to help. Four goals is a lot, though. I mean, yeah, four goals is a lot to come back from. Right, the keys. Handle it. Nice ball up ahead. Domsky there kind of. Keys is flying. Oh. It's going to be kicked out. It's going to be a throw in here as Ash County's putting some pressure on. It's especially a lot when Ash hasn't even gotten shot off in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, they started playing a little bit too deep. Sometimes when you're under attack, there's a natural tendency. Everybody plays a little deeper, and you think that just subconsciously you do it. But then what happens is you end up absorbing. And from that point on, you can't, even when you do win the ball, you can't. You can't get it out because right. there's nobody to pass the ball to. So you just keep giving it back to them, letting them keep coming at you. Here we go, Midfield, Becca. Becca Bowers was there. It's deflected out again. Tyler Reller with the throw in down the side. Valerie Keys, good speed, left foot, going to cross it in. And oh, oh it stays in. in. And a great job again by Bree Roten to come up and get it. But yeah. it stayed in. Yeah, that, she made a save, and, it, and then it stayed in. So, Roten there with the punt. Yeah, punts it a little bit short there. Yeah, Ash is able to take over. Far, really. Church there, deflects it. Bridget Finally Wilson gets... got it, and then Cripps comes way for. Oh, that's oh, got to be a foul. got tripped. Yeah. That's the second time that we've seen a real rough play against Becca. One time was clean. That one wasn't clean. No. But Becca's had two hard hits against her. There's gonna be a yellow card there. That's going to be Brooke Bentley. Brooke Bentley picks up the yellow here. So what, Brooke? Stand there listening to the referee. A lot of times you'll see players just walk off. I mean, yeah. like when Olivia got hers, she was already heading over to the sideline. Amazing though, you know, the real turning point of this game can possibly be when the referee reached in his pocket and pulled out his card and and then looked and, and chose not to give it to Olivia. Yeah. That would have been, she'd have been out for the game. I tell you, if you get out for the game, you lose your sweeper. They would have been, with this kind of deficit, they would have been in trouble. Yeah, we we've, yeah, we've really seen Ash struggle without Olivia Natalie too. Natalie Harless with a good Harless ball. Harless with a great cross up. They try to head it out, but really don't get much of it. Robinson can't. 
clear it. Becca Bowers gets it to Church. Church got bumped a little yeah, bit there. Robinson was kind of physical there, but Church is pushing back now. Giving it as much as she's getting. And she throws it in quickly. Oh, Good job, Valerie. Valerie. Good footwork from Valerie. Oh, Drops it. All the way over to the side to Tyler Eller. Eller brings it back. Eller smartly Keith gets is everywhere. Look, she was up front. Now she's dropped back to a midfield type position. There's Harless. Harless gonna take a it up. shot from way out. Nice job by Bree Roden to come out and catch it too because two strikers for Mash were flying ahead. Yeah, I think she laid it up there. Natalie did trying to get her strikers to it. Bridget Wilson taking it away from Pardue here. Wilson gets it to Keys. Keys looking. Nice little move. Tries to get back to the inside to Becca Bowers. Becca to Aspen. Aspen turning Aspen's on her left move. foot. Oh, and there's just too much traffic there. Yeah, Aspen's really struggled to even handle the ball tonight. Hadn't been able to get it oh, to her. And the referee hits it. Clear it, but it hit the referee. And Wilson comes back and takes the shot. Lifts it up and another save from Bree Roten. So we just got a few minutes left here in this opening half. And Wilkes Central still with that 4-0 lead. And punt out to Robinson, but really doesn't get it too far on those punts. So Mac Church there with it. Wilson. You know, Mac Church with another bump there that was kind of hidden. Yeah. Bowers. Oh, almost an elbow throw. Aspen lets it go on to Keys. Let's she let it run on there to Keys, and then Keys got it. And it was kicked out by Wilkes Central, thrown into Keys. Oh, oh that some... might be a little bit yeah. there. That's right. <laughs> she's tough. You know, she's not very big. No, she's, she's a little girl, you. but she'll knock you down. <laughs> <laughs> she, she threw a right shoulder there, Terry, that was a little aggressive. <laughs> I like her though. She... She's tough, man. Oh yeah. And that goes out. And here's gonna be a throw in. This clock's running down here in these final couple of minutes. They look. Tell you what, I think Alexis Parks describes it all over there with her her look of disappointment for this first half for the Huskies though. Yeah. I mean, Wilkes Central deserves to be ahead. They don't deserve to be ahead by this amount. No. Because, because really, Ash has, and sometimes has actually controlled the game. Yeah, and two of them are penalty kicks, though. I yeah. Mean, it's just amazing that they they have this 4 nothing lead. This ball gets it up to Becca Bowers. Becca tries to, looking for Wilson, but then drops it back to Alyssa. Alyssa knocks it long up ahead. Valor Keys trying Keys to get is to there. it. Keys there. Watch Keys. Good speed, almost came around there oh, to she, Bridget Wilson. She bothered her enough to get it back to Wilson. Wilson. I'm gonna try to get to church, just a little ahead. Yeah. See so how much referee can keep the clock on the field here these last couple of minutes. Oh, nice turn there. Yeah, working off Mac Church. Masuki. Masuko. And there's Mac Church. Oh, nice job getting the flick it again. And the long Almost. ball up ahead. Laura Rodriguez back there at the sweeper roll. Carlos takes it away. Rodriguez is in there for Olivia back there in the sweeper, the sweeper right now. And there's the ball getting out. Trying to Bowers trying to get it. Gets back to Wilson. Wilson down into the left corner. It's gonna it's like it's gonna stop down there. And we see Tyler Eller racing for it, and no option for Wilkes Central other than Courtney Huffman kicks it out. Yeah, there's. Whoa, I don't understand that. I thought, it, I thought Wilkes Central kicked it out. They, they've given it there to Wilkes, but they threw it right back out, right least. out of bounds. So. It, Comes to Bowers. Bowers now looking to the right side. Not much time left here in this opening half. This will be the last opportunity that Ashe County has to try to get on the scoreboard. Yeah, they got to take a shot right here if they can. Oh, and here comes Robinson. She's it clearing out. it all the way up. It stayed, kept in by Pardue. Oh, Pardue, yeah. Yeah, Pardue, and that's going to run it out. I'll tell you what, Pardue was closing there. Yeah, she got some great speed. And oh. that's going to do it for the first half here. Four oh, nothing. Wilkes Central, the Eagles lead it over the Huskies. This is upset in the making right here. I tell you what, four nothing. That's gonna be real tough for Ash in the second half. That's amazing, and, you're, and really, 
It's hard to get four good, clean opportunities to score in one half. And, and you know, the likelihood of scoring on every clean opportunity you have is is not much. So, But still, at the same time, Ash County has shown signs of brilliance sometimes in that first half. And the game shouldn't be as one-sided as it is. Uh, two penalty kicks, one the controversial goal that I, th I think was definitely a goal. It just kind of came out the side of the net. And we'll be back for the Sky Zone HD Game of the Week for second half action right after these messages. Welcome back to Sky Zone HD Game of the Week. Ash County Lady Huskies find themselves trailing here at Wilkes Central by an unbelievable 4-0 scoreline. Two goals from Tori Andreski, two goals from Jesse Pardue, one each uh, on penalty kicks, one by Andreski to open up the game uh, on, a re on a regular goal that she took. She hit, and then Pardue with a, a great shot up at the, off the top of the netting for her first goal, and then got a penalty kick later. Mm -hmm. So it's 4-0, uh, Drew, and Ash County, Wes Rousseau, tremendous coach. Let's see what adjustments he makes here at halftime to try to change the momentum of this of this match. Yeah, and it's been all Wilkes Central. Even at the end of that first half, there, it was the Eagles that were on total offense the whole time. Ash made a little bit of a push there in the last maybe two minutes or so, but I'll tell you what, there's got to be some adjustments made here by Coach Wes Russo, and if he can make them, Ash might have a chance here at making the comeback. This is one of the best teams in the conference. Ash right now sitting in second place. They've already beaten this Wilkes Central team before earlier this year, but Four goals is an awfully lot to come back from. It is. Olivia Bretschneider back in there. Sweet Brant. One little move. He's got Alexis Parks out here at wide left. Yeah. And, uh, didn't see her, I don't believe, on the left oh, side. Nice ball job. up to Aspendowski. Aspendowski. got a chance. One on one with the goalkeeper. If she hit takes it. takes the shot. Oh, my goodness. Exactly what Ash County needed within the first minute here of the second half. They find a way to get a goal on a beautiful long through ball up ahead. Aspen really was being pinched in by both defenders. Didn't have much. She had to take the shot immediately, and she hit it perfectly. And she was cleared up ahead. I tell you what, that was, that was the least amount of people we've seen back for Wilkes. That was the best offensive series we've seen for the Huskies too. And and that's that's what they really needed, Terry. They needed to strike early, and the, and even better than that, they need to get Aspen going. Because yeah. if Aspen's going and she gets her confidence going, Aspen's one of those players where if she doesn't touch the ball that much, she gets frustrated and. And doesn't necessarily play her best, but when she scores, she's dangerous because she gets some confidence going, and that's when she really starts playing well. The difference in that one was it was a long ball. You know, up yeah. until then they've been doing everything up close, and by the time they get up there, Aspen's just surrounded by defenders. She they can't even hardly get the ball to her. But right. that time they just hit it long, and she used her speed to outrun people too. Everybody. Yeah, and the few times that they've done the long ball, it's been too far out in front. Like that yeah. one was perfect. So she was able to really kind of catch that one and then run with it. And got a good shot. Yeah, but you're right. I think that's really the strategy. I think Coach Russo has come up with that strategy here to try to hit it longer to her because, because with her speed, she can get to it. The defenders can't. Here we go. Ball coming in on a corner kick opportunity right in front of the goal. That's a Suko actually kicked that one. She's taking the majority of the corner kicks and done a really nice job for Wilkes Central. Going to be a throw in though. Goes out. And Rodriguez now going to take the throw. Tell you what, it couldn't get much better though for Wilkes Central, their seniors tonight to knock off the Huskies. That's that's be their probably their biggest win of the season if they can do it here and have four nothing at halftime. Oh, yeah. You wonder too, Terry, if you know now you've celebrated your at halftime your your senior night and you're you're up four nothing if that's already it's already gotten to you if you settle for it. Yeah, you know? you're right. You could actually let down just a little bit thinking that you've got this thing kind of locked up and you're yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, you're up four, up four nothing on Ash. It's senior night. You're yeah, living you're, high right now. You're introducing the seniors and their parents at halftime and and then suddenly you got to come back out and play a match. And as soon as you give up a goal in the first minute like that. You start to question things. I yeah, mean, you start to worry. And Parks over here on this le wide left side, we mentioned that was a little change that Wes made. And that, that last goal really came through down that left side. And here up ahead, not quite able to get Parks to it. He must. You, you talked about it earlier, Drew, that how he sees things during a match and he moves people around. Because Alexis came in some on the right side, but she didn't play on the left side. Suddenly he's put her on the left side, and it's like as if he's seen something over there. Right. Right, yeah, what, I mean, what's, what's Russo is one heck of a coach. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And he's, he's real smart. He knows the strengths and weaknesses of all his players. It's funny how you, you've been, I'm, you've been in it lots of times, I know, as an athlete, and I've been lots of times. You get it, you get, you're well behind. The times you get comebacks, 
you you know, and I remember even c coaching guys before where we went in at halftime, you know, down 21 nothing, and, I, and I'd say, you get one, you get, you know, or maybe even 28 nothing. One time we came back from behind to win it. Here we go, down the right side, Tyler Eller. Oh, oh a nice save. save by Roten. Man, it was a heck but, of a save by Roten. But it's, I tell my guys at halftime, you get one one touchdown, then it's going to make them a little bit tighter. It's going to make them just worry a little bit. Then you put more pressure on, you get another touchdown. Next, you know, And every time you get a touchdown, start cutting into that lead, then it just raises the, the pressure on them to the point, you know, you, and you just keep building on that momentum, and it's not impossible to do. You just got to... You just no. got to keep that pressure on them. And that's what you could see happen here. If you score early like that, then suddenly the whole second half momentum changes. And, and Ash is on the attack now, and Wilk Central's kind of trying to hang on a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, sitting. Well, here we go. Well, this Pardue. is a good opportunity for Olivia Pardue working on Olivia Brett Schneider. Boy, Olivia did is perfect with that. Yeah. She, did, she just went out and put her, stuck her foot out there and made a nice little block of that. And that's Pardue's shot didn't go anywhere. No, that's tough too playing that one-on-one -on -one defense like that. That's where somebody like Olivia just saves you in that she situation. Does, yeah. you're, I mean, you're right though, Terry. There's, there's a foul right there. We entered it when I was in college once we entered a fourth quarter. We were down 28 points to start the fourth quarter. And a quick score there. We actually ended up coming back and, and winning that game. I mean, it was 42-35, I believe, we were down. Yeah. 42-35 uh, was the final, but uh, we were down. 35-7. Like yeah, 35-7. 28 points heading in the fourth quarter. So, I mean, I've seen some great comebacks, and it always starts with a, a quick strike. You have to score quickly and get that first one in there because once you start it, that's, that's when the momentum starts to turn. Yeah. So Ash getting that early one's big. It is big. Here's Becca. Another Flips long one here again. Aspen's going to get to it. And this is the same type strategy that got the first goal. Aspen's going to let her teammates come up oh, a Becca. little bit. Becca Bowers. Ooh, and we see it trying to get cleared, but only goes to the side there. And a good clearance attempt there by Sylvia Rubio Reyes, number 14. There's a throw in. Oh, here comes uh, Aspen. Look at that. Aspen getting aggressive. Oh, Alexis. Parks has got a good shot. Oh, oh, just kind of skied it. Just got underneath it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, Parks lifts that up a little bit high. Ash looks a little bit better here in the second half, though. They do. They're on the offensive side here. And Alexis got a good look there. Hit it with her left foot. I mean, she's not left-footed. But the initial change of posi field position was the another long ball up to Aspen and yeah, letting her was. outrun the defenders to it. And then she was actually able to hold it for a second and let her teammates come up with her, and that yeah. helped her. A, those long balls are good if she can if she can kind of get in a one-on-one -on -one situation because she's so fast. She can generally beat the defender and then get a shot, similar to how she got the first goal. But uh, in that situation, couldn't just get a clear shot and let her teammates come up. So Rodriguez does a good job knocking it out. I tell you, one more goal. If, if Ash could get another goal here, the whole game then becomes in doubt at that point. Right, yeah. Nice ball up ahead there on a good throw, but here comes Alexis. And it gets poked away from her, but it's going to be a Ash County throw in. As the more this clock runs, though, the better it looks for Wilkes Central. I think yeah. they got to know that. And so. Yeah, Wilkes really kind of needs another one somewhere within the next five minutes or so. I'll tell you, a three. A three Goal lead right now, still, still a lot, still a lot. Yeah, yeah. you got, you really got to be with, you know, within two by about twenty minutes to play or so. To really, oh, here we go! Oh, oh good Valerie, look, and Valerie was, was flying. <laughs> she was. Roden's done a good job though coming out. Another short punt though from her. She's kind of struggled clearing it. Becca with a good ball across to the right side. Tyler Eller. Eller's there. Up to Keys. He's knocks it out. The, Ash has been more on the offensive side, though, the second half. That's, yeah, definitely. That's a good thing. If you're Wes Russo, you got to be pleased with that, with the little you've seen so far in the second half. And Valerie Keyes now on the right side. You know, she was on the left side uh, in the first half. Now she's right. on the right side of wide midfield. And, again, that could be something Coach Russo is seeing. And there's Alexis playing well forward. Rodriguez is a lot more forward as well. Yeah, you see is. her now the midfield. aggressively. We saw Olivia Brushneider coming way forward once she wins the ball too. Natalie Harless, Natalie Harless was, is flying there. She was really hustling. Nice job by Natalie there. This is still going to be a corner kick, and Wilk Central's got a set piece here. And this is a big opportunity for the Eagles if they can make it 5-1. 
and kind of stop yeah, that, that momentum swing. It's that's going to be real tough. A real, real goal. tough. That's Masuko there, and here it comes in. Outward swinging. Oh, swings it in. oh, oh that wow. was a. I mean, that was a perfect. That was about ball. as perfect as you can put it. Yeah. They just didn't quite get it down. They didn't. Whenever they got a piece of it there, they didn't get it down. They knocked it off wide to the right and high. So Olivia Bretschneider is going to take this goal kick. bretschneider has got a real strong leg. We've, we've talked about that. Yeah. That's why she takes this. A lot of times Chrissy Simmons will go ahead and take it when she's back there. And here's Olivia. Oh, man, she can just knock it there all the way up oh, nice close job, to yeah. midfield. Just kind of a little punch shot almost. She has so much power. It's like a little like a low chip shot is the way she hit that with a golf club. Here, oh, here it comes Pardue. back, Pardue, but nice a good job. Rodriguez, yeah. yeah, Rodriguez. Alexis Parks and Ash has dropped back a little bit now. Here Parks is far back, it's a little different. Rodriguez will throw this. Roll up and ahead, get Bowers. to Bowers. Bowers trying to turn, get it down the side to Alexis. That's gonna, gonna roll in, that's gonna stay in. in. Cleared up ahead again. Oh, nice move oh, by Pardue. Pardue kind of cornered there. Natalie Harless again with another great defensive play. Didn't give up any ground. She just hung right in there, knew the passing angle, and stepped in front. Tyler Eller. Eller oh, long ahead. ball again to Keys. Wow. Just a little bit too long. Keys was flying. Now, those long balls ahead, though, are, are threatening right now as Terry was pointing out. Yeah, Valerie's playing a lot more up front now. She she was really more kind of midfield and then coming forward out of the midfield, and Aspen was a lot of times the only real true striker up front. Now they've got Aspen and Valerie definitely up there as two strikers, and they're trying those long balls up ahead on the through balls, and Valerie and Aspen both racing for them. I think, you know, I think Wes Russo definitely knew that he needed to get more aggressive in the second half. They were so much on that on defensive end, just absorbing and absorbing, and that's not what the Huskies are good at. I mean, they're they're an offensive team. And here it Ooh, comes. Good move there on Harless. That's Pardue again. And she oh, strikes it. Oh, man, in the side netting. Well, she drilled that. She did drill it, yeah. Jesse Pardue. She got a lot of power on it for that angle, too. Yeah, she's already got two goals here tonight. Was going for a hat trick there. And so Olivia Brett Schneider clears it up ahead. And Ash is looking Oh, good. and there it goes again. Up a long Keys. ball. Keys. Got it. Got it. Valerie Keys hits it from about the top of the 18-yard box. Another long ball got way up to the top. Brett Schneider with a beautiful. Here's the shot again. Strikes it up and high and nails it. Right in the roof of the net, but it all started with Brett Schneider's goal kick. Which yeah. is she just launched it down there. Yes, yeah, she did. Launched it. And that, that gets it. The second goal, and we've seen that tonight, and it's obviously what the plan was, putting an extra striker in up there, moving Valerie farther forward, and then going for the long ball and allowing the speed of Valerie and Aspen to outrun the defenders, and suddenly you got four to two. With Yeah, with less than half of the game already, yeah. less, than, less than half of the second half already gone. So it's looking good for Ash right now. I mean, plus they got the momentum, so if they can get a third one in, this is – Man, this is and I tell you what, these the fans, you know, there was a lot of going back and forth between the Ash fans and the Wilkes Central yeah, fans. And Wilkes Central was starting to rub it in a little bit. Yeah, with they that. were. They were. And now, suddenly, if they'll be sitting there thinking, man, if Ash, if Ash County comes back on them. Oh, ball coming right across the top of the box. In the middle there, and there's Mac, Mac Church. Church tries to set, get it back to Aspen, but not able to. And, oh, Andreski, Masuko there. And there's Rodriguez with a beautiful job. Nice. Kept fighting long enough to get Aspen involved. Aspen drops it back to Becca Bowers. I tell you, yeah, you're right. The, the crowd has is, is definitely changed. Yeah, here comes Tyler Eller. Looking good. Eller with a good Oh, shot. at the near post and Roden with a beautiful save. That was a tough ball. It hit right in front of her. I'm telling you, you know, only about two, three feet in front of her. She had to take it on the short hop. She clears it up ahead here. Church is there. But Masasuko drops it back. Some of the toughest saves right there when something's in a short hop right in front yeah. of you because if it deflects off you at all. Or spins at all. Yeah, you spins have no at all. Idea. It goes right into the goal next to you. Oh, good job there from Tyler Eller. Bridget Wilson knocks it up to Becca Boy, Ash, Ash County is just on the attack. Yeah, they are. Aspen there gets it out wide. Boy, Luke this Central. was some kind of comeback here. Tyler Eller looking to cross it in. Yeah. Oh, across the top, Mac Church. Church gets it. Oh, man, almost. 
<laughs> Almost knocked it in there. Wilkes Wilkes Central so spread <laughs> out on defense right now, Terry. Ash is taking advantage. Wilkes Central is sitting back. I mean, they're just absorbing now. The, the pressure's on them entirely. Mm. Yeah. Down what's about 25 minutes left here in this second half, and that's going to be the longest 25 minutes that Wilkes Central's played all and, season. And for Ash, they've already cut the deficit in half with less than half of the first or the second half play yeah. is big because now they know, okay, we've scored two goals in less than 20 minutes. We can score two more in less than 20 again, you yeah. know, and the momentum's on their side. So I mean, it's, is, it's amazing how little things like the, just the time can change things. There's a hard hit right yeah, there. Yeah, that was actually a play on signal there from the referee. He would have called the foul, but he saw that Ash County and still had possession, so he didn't want to take possession away to call it. But really right now you have a situation where the the old saying the best defense is a good offense right Wilkes central needs to get the ball and start getting on the attack a little bit and take some of the pressure off their defense but but what happens in soccer when you start absorbing you just don't you can't get out you, you, to get it forward and so you've really got to change your mindset and Wilkes central right now needs to not think about trying to hold this lead they need to try to think about trying to extend the lead yeah well if, what got them there you know yeah. i mean the offense got them there if they because if they could push forward and and you know that ash is throwing people forward so they've got to be you know they got to be weaker at the back because they don't have because they got so many people up front or do yeah. not getting stopped by the ball yet and Ooh. she's still and oh, good pass the top. The oh. oh that was an opportunity that miss really there. was yeah but see when you get these counter attacks when you've got everybody pushed forward as much as ash county does trying to score then wilk central can hit them on these counter attacks because there's not much left back there to defend with and that's what you should be thinking about if Wilkes Central, because if you can go back to a five to two, you know, then suddenly, you know, you're back in the driver's seat again with this much time left. Yeah, just about 23 minutes to go here. Had a little, some substitutions coming in. And here comes Olivia again. This is how the second goal got started with a long kick off the goal kick. Trying to get the Valerie, That's but why Pardue Olivia. drops it in there, back to Pardue. I tell you what, all of uh, Wilk Central's offense is coming right up the middle, though, Terry. We always talk about how big yeah. it is to come from the side. Yeah. Everything's coming right up the middle. Ooh, there's a, there's a foul there against Wilk Central. You're right. Everything's come up the middle. They're not really getting any width to the attack, are they? So No, and, that, and that's big. And I mean, that's Wilk Central really only got one solid goal. In that first half, the, yeah, the one that one just slip, slipped by. One slipped through Chrissy, you're right. Yeah, but the, Two I mean, penalty kicks. I mean, those two were, you know, definite foul. I mean, especially the first one was a, uh, you know, Yeah, it was a trip. Yeah, yeah, she knocked her down, yeah. And the second the one. The second on, one really wasn't that much of a goal-scoring opportunity. It just happened to be a foul right at the top of the box. Yeah, and I think they were both trying to get up. I think Olivia was just trying to get up and trip oh. her inside the box. But, you know, two goals came off that. The other one was the freak one that hit off the, the post. And, yeah. And went in. Oh, Aspen, look at how strong she is. Yeah. They took tried to take her legs out there with a sliding tackle, and she just absorbed it. Look at Aspen come all the way back to midfield yeah, to did. fight for it. And that's uh, that's what Aspen will do when she's already scored. I think, you know, that, that's how Aspen is. When she scores, she plays a lot, a lot harder, it seems like. She's yeah. good. Cripps knocks it up. Brittany Cripps, long ball up ahead. Now back, trying to get back down the corner, gets behind Brittany. Brittany with her speed, come, easily catch, catches back up. Yeah, Bridget Wilson now here in the middle. Gets it across here. All high in the air. Mac Church hands a little bit, and Olivia able to get there first. And there's going to throw in from Kate Zerkowski. Ooh, Natalie nice Harless job. with Harless, a yeah. beautiful job. No foul called at all. And she, oh, another long ball attempt. It's in the midfield. The Eagles take it away. Nice job by Wilk Central. And Cripps knocks it up ahead. Good job. Tyler Eller lets it run on so she can turn and yeah, she tried try to, to go it. with it. But but Ash is staying wide here on the offense, too. That, that yeah, they, actually, everything they've done has gone through the wide part. As we talked about, you know, you, you mentioned it, you were right. Wilkes Central really doesn't have much width to the attack. Ash has gone through uh, both wide left and wide right players with their goals. Oh, there's a shot. Oh, that's a good Man. shot by Aspen, too. And 
She, a difficult one. She just turned. She held it up right there and turned and hit the shot on the turn and just wide. I thought holding it up was tough enough, much less to flip your hips like that and get a shot away. But, uh, Maggie Boyd is going to take this goal kick. I think they need this too because Bree Roden's not really gotten much distance out of these kicks and she throws it up ahead. There's the ball. Valerie. Nash County with the defenders. Way, pushed way forward. There they get it. Gets it to Chrissy. Chrissy Chrissy's Simmons, in there. Yeah. To Valerie Keys. Valerie Watch Keys looking Valerie. down the right side. Eller roll, overlapping down that right side. Looking to cross it in. Nice oh, job. Oh, nice she job. Does. Right over. Oh, Into there the it is. The shot. Oh, no. Deflected. Valerie, Valerie. shot. Oh, it it's in. in. Man, it rolled in. Oh, Valerie my Keys. goodness. Valerie Keys gets another one. Slips it by her, and now it's a one goal game. But what a beautiful job by Tyler Eller. She made it happen all along that baseline. She beat her defender, came inside with a beautiful pass right across the top of the goal. Aspen took a shot, it got deflected off, it was bouncing all around like a pinball, and then Valerie Keys came flying in and hits it. And we've, and we've still got almost 20 minutes left. Nash has scored three goals. Man. The speed of Keys and Domsky, and that time Tyler Eller overlapping down that right side was absolutely perfect. I'll tell you what, this is, this is a situation where you you want a timeout if you're in soccer because you need to <laughs> settle yeah. them down right now if you're Wilk Central because now you really can't try to hang on. There's too no, much time. No, you have like you, to go after you it. You have yeah. to go forward and try to get something. And as well as Ash has played as much confidence as they have right now, yeah. you need a you need a score really. Yeah. You get the momentum back on your side. Taylor May there getting it up ahead. Nice ball to Grips. Brittany. Brittany gets it to Valerie. I tell you, Valerie. Valerie's getting pushed, and watch the Valerie retaliate because <laughs> she doesn't like that. Oh, and that's Robinson goes down. She looks hurt. Yeah, she's. Yeah, she's hurt. Her and. I think Brittany and Rob. Yeah, and, and Robinson there. Got tangled up a little bit. Yeah, and that's. Jasmine's down, injured. Four to three, boy, you talk about a match changing. That's unbelievable. Oh yeah, you're right. But uh, this injury to Jasmine Robinson's not good either because Jasmine's one of their, you know, one of their yeah, key she, players. She's very good. Got a lot of great speed. We've seen her take away a lot of balls. Also, when she people start on the attack, she can run them down and take it away from them. There she's. She looks pretty shaken up. She's not even going to try to walk off. It must no. be an, an ankle. Yeah, they're going to carry her off. But I, I don't know. Now you have a little bit of time. You, you almost wonder if, uh, if if they call their players over here and talk to them a little bit and you know, say, hey, we're, we're still winning. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and get one in here. But. Ehrlich there for... Wilkes Central also coaches the boys. Well, that's one of the really neat things about in high school. You, the girls are in the spring and the boys are in the fall. And so that you can have one coach that coaches both teams. Yeah, Wes Russo does. Yeah, Wes Russo does a great job both of them. The boys too, yeah. Boys had a heck of a season too. This game reminds me a lot of one of the games that asked County won, the boys won in a in play in the state playoffs. They were down by two late in the game and scored two in like the final two minutes. And then went on and won it. And this one, this is even gonna be be more time of a comeback here, but even more amazing coming from four down. If they can find a way to get at least one more before the end of regulation. A foul here, so Wilk Central is gonna get a kick here. Yeah, it's about 35 yards out, so within striking distance, she can hit it at this goal. She can lift it up, get somebody oh, charged. Oh, and that's a net. nice effort and a good job there from Virginia. Yeah. That was a little bit tough one. It was the thing is on those, you need to get a lot of air on it. It's almost like a, a touch corner, 
touchdown try attempt. You know, it's like yeah. a fader. You got to get air on it. Or you can get an alley oop type thing yeah. in basketball. You got to get air under it to or give a, them an opportunity. Or a hail mary. You yeah. got to get some air on it. So you let your teammates actually run to it. Yeah, but the problem is if you in. get too much air, then the goalkeeper comes out and comes out and catches it. Catches yeah. it. So it's got to be just perfectly the trajectory. Oh, there's so Rodriguez. Ash is really far forward. They are. Look at Rodriguez. She's so. She's only like 35 Red yards Schneider's from the goal. at midfield. <laughs> yeah. And there's only ooh. there's only three defenders for Ash County back. No, and that's on Aspen. And the crazy thing is, that's a, probably a good foul because the clear ahead. There was nobody really there for Ash. Yeah. That's on Aspen. Aspen's gonna make her <laughs> make her case. <laughs> I've, we've seen Aspen jaw a few times, though, with referees. I yeah. mean, we have. And the thing is, she's so good, and all the referees know she's so good. And aggressive. Yeah, she? and the thing is, it's like you look at the NBA when Michael Jordan's playing or somebody like that, they get, they get the calls. If you look in baseball when Ted Williams was playing, you know, an umpire didn't necessarily – he had to have, be sure it was a strike before he called that close right. thir third strike. And, that, and I think it's the same type thing with Aspen. You score over 100 goals, the referees – kind of let you get away with a little bit more than they yeah, do the other players. Not necessarily cards. They, they whistle her, though, because they know she's physical. <laughs> yeah. And she gets a lot of whistles. They don't necessarily get a lot of cards, but they know they know that she's a tough player. And so they watch for her to see if she's going to bump. But she's – tell you what, you score – like you said, you score that many goals in your career. We're at 101 now, I think. Yeah. I was reading something the other day about Michael Jordan whenever they call it the – when he was playing in Chicago at games, you know, when the Bulls would be playing, how the, the game would be called completely differently. Yeah. Whenever he was, because, you know, the re referees. Yeah, Jordan never got a call again. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. That was a good shot right there. That that was really a, an open opportunity. Yeah, that really and, was. And she turned on it beautifully and hit and struck it. And if she did, you know, she had a, all she had was Virginia between her and the goal with that wide goal mouth and just pushed it to the right. I got 13 minutes. I've actually have a lot more than that with the injuries and the goals that have been scored. But there's a ball. A good shot. Oh, Virginia oh. thought about coming out and probably should have come out and caught yeah, it. She should have caught that. You're right. Because if it there at the back post, it was almost an opportunity there. I believe it was Andreski racing in from yeah, that back Andreski, post. Andreski should have flown at it too. I think if she was able to just poke it, she could have maybe knocked it in. Olivia now with the. Goal kick up ahead. Good job. Aspen coming all the way back to get it. They try to. Aspen flying right now. Yeah, she is. She's a competitor. And boy, when she's that third goal, you saw her. Boy, the excitement that she had there when Valerie put that third one in. Yeah. I mean, they're just. They, they fully believe they can win right now. They're, they just think it's a matter of time. Wolf Central's got to look at that clock, though, and be smiling a little bit here about 12 minutes. Yeah. Just left and a one goal lead. Really a lot more time than that, though, with the, with the stoppage of play. There's Eller again. She was the one that set up that third goal. And here comes Tyler again on a long throw down the side. Valerie with a nice hold up off her chest. Gets it. Chrissy Simmons. Simmons with a good shot. Valerie with the head. Oh, Aspen Domsky. Domsky here it is. There. Oh, oh it's it deflected. deflected. Oh. Domsky goes down. What a beautiful Man. save by Roten. Yeah, because you're coming out on one of the best goal scorers of the season. At Aspen like hit that. it with the outside of her right foot, yeah, and you know, did. but she just Roten was on top of her and smothered it enough that it had no way to get in the goal. All it could do was just deflect off to the side for a corner. Wow, though, that's a great great play by Aspen, an aggressive play, but even better play by Roten to come out and stop it. Here's Valerie Keys going to take this outward swing and right, and it's it really swung out. Yeah, a little, a little bit, bit too short. Thought, yeah. Tyler Eller though with a beautiful attempt there from about 20. Four yards out, but wide to the right. Yeah. Tyler, you don't see her take that many shots no, from that really spot, don't. but boy, but she struck it well there. Yeah. I've not seen Tyler take many shots all season, really, but that was a good shot. So here we are. It's, yeah, as we're nearing the last 10 minutes of this match. And there's the goal kick from Wilkes Central. It's going to go. Up ahead, deflected off of Mac Church. Going to go out for a throw in. In a game of two halves here, four yeah. nothing at the half for Wilkes Central, and Ash County now comes back with three goals in the second half. Yeah, making the comeback here. And there's a 
A throw in down the right side. It's going to be cleared back out, though. Oh, and here comes Asper. Oh, man, Asper's the sweeper flying. there. Oh, it's. Watch for Valerie to get Valerie a good pass ahead. Asper! Oh, my God. goodness! From all the way back, and look at the facial expression there on Asper Domsky. And what a pass from Valerie Keys. Aspen Domsky raced to it and got it with a, and just finished that off for the tying goal here. <laughs> and the comeback is complete. We're knotted up at four. What? And Ash's sideline's going nuts. Yeah, and some of that loud back and forth that's going on from the Wilkes Central side when they were, has now quieted down a little bit. Man, Aspen, you know it. Throw your hands up in celebration after she knocked that in. What a great pass, too, from Valerie Keyes. Valerie Keyes, you know, may it, you mentioned in the first half that you thought Valerie Keyes was playing one of her best games of the season, yeah. even though she hadn't scored. Now you take that and you give her, like, the the ball, the assists that she's had and the goals that she had, add it to how well she's played. Even I mean, in the first half when they when they didn't get any offense, she was playing outstanding, I thought. Yeah. I mean, she just she's having a great game. The, the player of the match for Ash County here tonight. Yeah, she's got two goals. Aspen's, Aspen's got two. But and there's the ball. Oh, nice job there. That's here's Valerie. Valerie. Valerie Keys shot. Go! Oh, got another one. Valerie, Valerie, Keys. Valerie Keys. We're less than a minute away from the one, the fourth goal to tie it, and Valerie comes back and gets the go-ahead goal, and Wilkes Central is in disbelief right now. <laughs> it's all gone. Ash County takes the lead. Five to four, Valerie Keys. <laughs> Look at that sideline there for for the Ash County. West Russo giving the high five to everybody. But, wow, what a comeback. But that was another beautiful effort from Tyler Eller. And with 10 minutes to spare. Now suddenly you have a situation where Ash is saying, we only have to hold on for nine and nine minutes. And whereas Wilkes Central just a minute ago was thinking they only had to hold on for 10 minutes. <laughs> Wow, I tell you what, though, with the offense that Ash has generated in the second half, it's been, it's been phenomenal. They might try and get another one in here. Pardue, oh, you know, though, she's so good. And, and we also have seen Andreski so good. They've each got two goals. they got a threat. And yeah. Now they're going to oh, go yeah. forward. Sometimes you get behind, you know, when you're holding on to a lead. Sometimes you don't play as well as whenever you then get behind. Right. And, yeah, you're right. It's amazing how, how this game's changed, though. I mean, yeah. Uh, they didn't, after that tying goal, Wilkes Central didn't even have time to regroup there. That was like a, less than a minute. Less before. than a minute, and Ash scored again. Yeah. yeah. And takes the lead. I think I think when they tied it, it, it literally broke at Wilkes Central's back. I yeah. mean, it just smothered them. Is oh, it, long ball up ahead. Valerie Keyes racing for it. Valerie Keyes coming after. The long after ball has there. been the key here in the second half. And the, putting yeah. that extra striker and moving Valerie way forward. From where she was in the first has been the other key. Becca Bowers. Becca Bowers is there. Bowers, Bowers lifts it up. up. Oh, oh, boy, that was a beautiful effort from Becca. Yeah, it really was. And lifted it up and over there. That was just a, a touch of class right there, the way she was able to just punch that ball, lift it up over, and almost drop it in above the goalkeeper's head. Yeah. Here comes a goal kick down the right side. The thing is, though, Ash is the better soccer team. We saw that earlier this season, and they're, they're – Higher in the standings right now, overall in the conference. And I tell you what, when you generate this kind of comeback, you wonder what it does mentally into the psyche of Wilkes Central. Right yeah. Now. They got to be aggressive. And they, I mean, they got to realize they're one goal away from. Ooh, there's a little bit up. of a miss. Back in there, Inside, almost got a chance. Oh, oh, that was down. a beautiful. Was that Alyssa? No. I believe it might have been. It must have been Alyssa over here in the left fullback spot. Let's see. It. Flying in there. Yeah, just a tremendous effort. Yeah, save Brett Schneider too, because Brett Schneider was the only one back, it looked like. Yeah, what a save. Mac Church also back in there, defending, doing a great job. But to get that save is big too. And it was almost, you almost could have been called for penalty in the box there. There it is, getting down here to this side. And there's Alyssa again, fighting for it. Oh, Pardue great comes inside. Pardue, Pardue again, but there's Brett Alyssa Schneider. again. And take down. Oh, and oh. Pardue hits, I tell you, boy, that don't. Get you hurt right there, though, the power that Olivia has with that. Yeah. With her leg. So, though, we've seen two takedowns, though, inside the oh, box. Oh, here we have a chance here. A lot of space. Church. Mac Church. Up ahead, and Wilkes Central's able to I tell you, it's still some space still here. Chrissy one. Simmons launching it down into the corner. It's going to roll out. Yeah, roll out. There. 
It's going to be a goal kick. We saw two girls from Wilk Central, though, get knocked down, Terry, on the offensive side inside the box. No whistle was called. It's a good thing, too, because might could have been another penalty kick. Oh, yeah. That would have just been what Wilk Central needed. There it is. Ash Central still on the attack. I tell you, they're not sitting on this one goal lead. No. They're, they're playing just as aggressively right now. Oh, ball comes across, gets back inside, but there's Olivia. Olivia is up forward, too, there, and this shows you how aggressive on offense Ash is when she's that far forward. Like a shark, just smelling blood in the water, really, and they're just going after him. And that's what you got to do. I tell you, to be a, a champion team, you've got to be willing to, you don't let anybody up. When you got them down on the match, you just keep the pressure on them. Well, it really started, I think, with the physical play. You know, Ash started to get a little bit more physical there at the end that that first half, and they carried that over in the second half, and then they got that quick goal. And it just kind of snowballed from there. Yeah, Bridget Wilson there just came in, did a good job, and she got fouled. So it's going to be Ash County's throw in. You're right, it did start with some physical play, and that's the way they are. I mean, they're so competitive, and we talked about Valerie and Aspen and, and Becca and Olivia, and, and a whole number of them are so competitive and Valerie really is the one that you always talk about and is and Aspen obviously too the two of them and right we said it at the beginning they're unusual to have strikers that are that aggressive aggressive yeah. physically and that's what they needed when you're down four nothing you got your backs against the wall you you got to come out there swinging and that's what Valerie and Aspen did here we go gets the ball Watch Aspen's Aspen. flying in there boy that's a nice save there Aspen gets it to Bridget Wilson Wilson drops it over to Simmons Simmons oh and it's headed back out Headed out, but yeah. Alyssa Peterson with a good job only gets it up forward far enough though. For Express. look how Olivia's playing pretty deep yeah, back she's there. I mean, she, she's like a free safety back there looking yeah, at she's a, the only one a, back there. Oh, a long ball up ahead. You can do that with Olivia though because she's such a good wow. This is going to be one here. Tyler Eller again. Eller, Eller has been again. fantastic tonight, and it's going to be a corner kick. Man, but Olivia, yeah, is like a free safety back there when you're talking like late you know, prevent defense, and she's just sitting back there she's waiting the for the one long person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's the one back there. I mean, she they have that much confidence in her, in her defensively. They just sit her alone back there and say, hey, if something comes, you stop it. Yeah. And she's such a good athlete. She can do it. Yeah. Here comes Valerie Keyes going to cross this in. Ash County trying to get another goal to really put this game away. Ash across the top. Almost Chrissy Simmons. Oh! oh! Church looked ahead it, too. And Chrissy was beautiful. She hit it at that far post, and Mac almost – got her head on it which yeah she, and she would have had a goal there if she could have Roten who's played really well tonight in the goal I mean she's made a lot of saves yeah, yeah. especially in that first half I mean yeah Ash got a number of good looks just Roten was there to stop him this clock's ticking down as we see this in the getting late but as you mentioned the referee and we've still had a lot of time left but even at the end he he could add some extra time with yeah. some of the injuries that have occurred. And here's Tyler Eller. Eller doing a good job. Oh, Knocked that's got to be a foul. Yeah, that's got to be. Gracious. Eller was hit hard. That's going to be there, number the 15, card. Holly Gonzalez. She gets the card, too. Oh, Holly just took her out, didn't she? I mean, that was like a cross body block. What you'd see in the old wishbone offense when the one <laughs> halfback, you know, run the option and the other halfback would go and throw a cross body block on the strong safety. That's what that looked like. Yeah. And here we have Olivia Brett Schneider coming forward and she's got such a strong leg. She can put this down there near the top of the 18 yard box. Put them under pressure immediately. Nice shot up ahead by. There it is right there at the top Brett of the 18 Schneider. right there. And it's going to didn't get cleared out. There's Tyler Eller again. Eller who's played a fantastic match here tonight. Oh, oh he gets it. Oh, oh and it, I tell you, Aspen was flying. Aspen was. She almost kicked at it, but she she knew she could have gotten in trouble. What a head, too, there by Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez played very well tonight. Oh, they got a little bit of room here, but Rodriguez drops back. No. Oh, no. Rodriguez oh. is taken down hard. And that's going to be. Just a reminder that. That was Pardue. I, 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 Pardue, and I'm surprised they didn't do a yellow card on that one. Again, I think Jesse's got. I mean, Jesse is such a, a star player for them, too. I think she got a little bit of, you know, star treatment there. This is scary because it looked like she might have landed on her collarbone or just got the wind knocked out of her really bad. It's one of the two. 
Yeah, she got hit. She hard. got hit hard. Came down hard. That really. They're talking to Pardue down there now. Yeah, the referee's talking to her, but I mean, he's not giving her a yellow card. Really, that that was as deserving of a yellow card as anything we've seen here tonight. Brett Schneider there as well. Can't afford to lose Rodriguez. But it's nothing serious. Yeah, He's Rodriguez in here is here toward the, the playoffs. I don't think it is. You see a lot of the girls kind of, you know, they don't look too concerned. I think it might just be the wind knocked out of her. Yeah, you see Brittany kind of smiling a little bit there, it looked yeah. like, so maybe yeah. relaxing a little. Mac Church was too. But uh, tell you what, though, this team, this team, this Ash team's a, a bonded group. I mean, these girls really do care about each other. Yeah. And that's something that goes down to coaching, too. I mean, that's a part of coaching is getting your team to play together and bond together. And you have a lot of success. I mean, the, the teams that are close are the ones that win. Right. You know? mm -hmm. and, 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 and being close helps you to win. But then by winning, you become even closer. Right. Because if you play on teams that they don't win. They work hand in hand. Yeah. Because yeah. if you play on teams that don't win, a lot of times there's a lot of griping and complaining and finger pointing at whose fault it is and everything and, and they don't really bond in the same way right no doubt about that and the amazing thing is with with ash we talk about aspen so much with her really kind of being the, the main goal scorer and that type thing it's amazing how much of a team player she is and how much the girls cheer for her when she got her 100th goal man that place lit up with their teammates they were so happy for her. yeah i mean it's this is a tight group this is not a group of well, I got to get mine if Aspen gets hers. You know, I mean, th there's none of that. I'll tell you, though, Laura's down there a long time. Here. Yeah, she it's is. She's still down here now. She's been down there for a while, Terry. I mean, it could be. She's got her knees up kind of, which sometimes you can have a little bit of wind knocked out of you. But at the same time, you're right. You got to worry about something like a collarbone or shoulder or something she grabbed at her left shoulder like it was a collarbone that's the but then she kind of rolled and i saw so if i had to take a guess i'm thinking it's the wind knocked out of her but this is taking a while Valerie's looking a little bit more worried down there right now Yeah, Valerie Keys. Wes is staying right in there, taking a look. So we're just hoping that you can't. Laura has been playing so well, and you can't afford to lose her coming into the playoffs. Yeah, you're right. She really does help back, uh, help in the back with Brittany Cripps and Brett Schneider. I mean, yeah. Brett Schneider's kind of the lone safety back there, as Terry kind of calls her, where she just kind of. Scans the whole field, but then Crips and Rodriguez yeah, really Rodriguez help her. sits in front of that as a stopper in front mm -hmm. of that, that, that those defenders. It's like a diamond formation there at the back. You got the yeah. two fullbacks. You got Rodriguez sits in front of it, and then you got uh, Olivia sits back behind it as the sweeper. Right. And uh, Rodriguez, especially as the seasons progress, she's been playing better and better. Well, when when Brett Schneider went down too with the concussion. Yeah. It was right. Rodriguez who had to play the sweeper. And we even saw her playing a little bit of sweeper tonight when when Olivia, when Olivia went out. Yeah. When it got that the card. The card. Well, they're grabbing both arms, so that can't be a collarbone then. Yeah. That's good. Because if they they wouldn't be putting stress on her, pulling her up by her arms if, right. if there was any injury to the shoulder or the or the collarbone. So I think it's the wind. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, if you never had the wind knocked out, the first time you ever have the wind knocked out, I remember it happened to me in playing ninth grade football, <laughs> you know, and you and you and you don't know you're going to live. You, mean, you, <laughs> you really <laughs> don't. You're like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, soccer, a girl soccer player probably has never had the wind knocked out of her. You know, it's such an unusual injury in soccer to have that. So she probably didn't know what was going on at all, you I, know? First time it happened to me, I think it was in sixth grade. I was playing running back. <laughs> I got knocked out of bounds and I've rolled over the ball. You, know, you fall on your stomach and you roll over the ball and you can't breathe. You no idea what's going on. 
Yeah. Knocked out of your senses. And the more you try to breathe, the <laughs> it worse it gets. It makes it worse. Yeah, so you gotta, they got to get you to relax, and then, and then it'll come back. But if you gasp for air, you, know, you, could, you just can't get it. The best yeah. thing, a lot of times they say if you lose consciousness, you actually, <laughs> yeah. it helps you. Well, that's what happens sometimes. People panic, don't they? And they keep <laughs> trying to gasp for air, and they can't get it to the point where they don't have enough oxygen. They pass out, and as soon as they pass out, then they can, their body relaxes automatically. Right. And then they can breathe. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Well, we're under two minutes to go. Uh, under two minutes, and so Ash County, it's Valerie. Gonna... Look at this, Valerie. Valerie. Look at that. Uh, that was about four shoulder hits there. And then she brings it back. She's going for another one here. Yeah. And Ash Tyler Eller, who we've seen play fantastic here tonight also in that wide right position. And that was another move. You know, we talked about that. You know, Tyler Eller was on the left side in the first half, and then he she got moved to the right side by Coach Russo in the second half, and she's dominated over them that right side this entire second half. Yeah, she really has. And he that's something have. that Coach Russo, as you talked about, he makes changes like that because he sees the flow of a game. And yeah, Wes Russo's done a, as good a job tonight as a coach as you can possibly do, I think. Yeah. And starting that comeback and now having the lead. It's being kept on the field here, but there's a lot of time left here because of the – all the injuries. I mean, that was actually the, the second injury that happened in this half, and then all the goals, too, that Ash has scored. Yeah. So Five goals, so we got a lot of time left. Yeah, we probably could have about eight minutes really left right now. The referee could could give about that much if he wanted to. So Wolf Central's got to hurry. And the thing about it is, though, the Wolf Central doesn't know how long he's going to give either, so it's, it becomes a desperate kind of situation yeah, for them, Yeah, you have no too. idea, so you, you have to go after it here. Natalie Harless. Gets it up ahead with the right foot. It goes Brittany Cripps now. A nice ball to Becca Bowers. Got a little chance here if she can get by here, but unable to. Nice job knocking that up, too. Ooh, good header to get it out of there and get it to the midfield. But Wook Central has to throw players forward right now to attack. And yeah, you got to go after it. Yep. Consequently, it's going to open up counterattack opportunities for Ash County because there won't be many defenders back. Ooh, that's going to be a foul on Aspen. Yeah. Oh, and she's going to get the yellow card. Tell you what. Aspen, I told you, that's, that's what she'll do. She'll say something. <laughs> she gets the card. <laughs> but she gets sent off there, and she'll be able to come back in quickly. But Yeah, she will. It's going to be, uh, got to be careful, though. Not going to say a word to Coach Wes Rousseau, just going to go over there. I, I, just line right back up to get ready, because <laughs> you have to wait till the ball goes out of play. So it can't be something in play. It can't be a corner kick. It can't be a... Goal kick, you know, it, it has to be well. It has to be go out of out of the play to, right. you know, like on a th kind of a throw in type thing. It can't be a free kick, you know. You, if you just get a free kick out in the field, you can't. That's even though it stops play, it, you're not allowed to substitute on that in high school. So here There's we a good go. Good ki kick right there, and Ash is gonna. Eller's gonna kick it out and force out. a throw in. Suddenly, Wilkes Central's got a thought about trying to tie it back up here. They're in the scoring yeah. mode here. Opportunity. No! Oh! Hit the post, man. Man, tell you what, in Virginia. I'm not sure that I think Virginia made a little stop. I think she got her arm up on yeah, that. I think she did. Because if it had just hit the post, it would have been a goal kick. Yeah, but she got a hand on it. And she's that calling. was a beautiful save by Virginia. Man, she stuck her right arm up and just that was a drill. Pardue with the corner kick Brittany. and it's deflected out by Brittany oh! Cripps. Oh! Off the crossbar. Man, and I think Virginia might have got a finger on that too. Cleared it up, and I think we're gonna bring Aspen back in. Yeah. Aspen's the one player, though, Terry, for Ash, who almost never comes out of the ball game. Yeah. I mean, everybody else kind of gets substitution. It's it's really Brett Schneider and Aspen that probably play the most minutes overall. Yeah. Virginia there with a beautiful save to keep the game with the one goal lead. Yeah, for Ash she County. did. That was a fantastic save because that was a hard shot right at the post. And then the second she, one. she had that covered at the crossbar, too. I mean, it, it hit the crossbar, but if it had been short of the crossbar, she was right there. Because she's got the height to be able to defend that yeah, little chip shot. She's good. And Valerie, another shoulder push there. Yeah. Valerie's gotten away without having any yellow cards no, so far. So amazing. she's still playing hard here. Back inside. Valerie looking for an opportunity here. Valerie's already got three goals tonight. Aspen Domsky with two. If they can get one more, they can put this game away, really, with about six minutes remaining. Yeah, the insur an insurance goal would be huge. Five minutes probably. You can't really tell. You yeah, we're under we're under the two minute mark on the clock, which yeah. means it's being held on the. Oh, shot! Shot on the ooh, just a little bit left there. Yeah. Becca Bowers, wasn't it? Hit that shot yeah. there from about so, twenty five yards out. But yeah, we don't know how long he's added on. We're just guessing. The referees have the official time right now, so. No, we stop the clock for a second. I think they're just trying to. 
get the, the ball set up. Yeah. And here it comes. There's a kick up ahead. Church. So, um, Give him a lot of time, though. I mean, yeah, you don't. Better for Wilkes Central. Oh, here, Valerie. Valerie. Got a chance. Inside. Be Becca. Becca Bowers. Let's run. Oh, she's got it. Becca Bowers. Becca Bowers. Foot. Inside the right post. Becca Bowers knocks in the insurance goal. It's 6-4, Ash County. And that one pretty much puts it away. That really does. Becca Bowers, just a fantastic shot right out there about about 15, 16 yards out. She hit it with her left foot and got it just perfectly inside the, the right post. And she threatened earlier. She's been playing very well here. Threatened earlier and just missed. And then came right back about 45 seconds later yeah, and put away what probably is, you're right, Drew, is going to be the, the goal that ices it, really. Yeah, Wilk Central totally stunned. You got to you gotta feel bad for the seniors in some way, though, Terry. I mean, they're leading this thing 4 nothing at halftime at the ultimate high. And, man, for it to come crashing down like this on your senior night. Yeah, I'll tell you, they, they played really well, though, and they – you know, they, they could have had more in the first half. I mean, there you know, there were some opportunities there that that they didn't quite convert. There's there was a space of time there in that first half for about probably 12 minutes or so where they completely dominated. Yeah. And then but the six goals for Ash County to score. Oh, it's going to be a corner. Six goals for Ash County to score in a half. I and mean, that's amazing. Yeah. Against a really good team. I and mean, we're not talking about them playing somebody that they beat normally nine to nothing or something. We're talking about playing Wilkes Central, who's third in the conference, and you go out and score six goals in, the, in one half, half against them. Amazing, them. yeah. Ooh, and drilled it, kind of caught it and hooked it a little bit there and went against the side netting. So we're down here to. Yeah, you're who right. Who knows what? We got, we got, he could blow the whistle at any point in time here, but you got to figure the most it can be is maybe two, two and a half minutes left. Brett Schneider. Clock's been sitting at 155 ever since the injury to Rodriguez. Right. And here comes Aspen, trying to hold it up. Right now, you can play a little more defensive. Two goal leads, a lot different from a one goal lead. One goal lead, you got to still be pushing a little bit. You can't absorb too much. Right. Oh, Aspen. Aspen got sealed off. Yeah, she's she still going to get to she it. She got the speed to get in there. Brings it back inside. Oh, Church is. Oh, oh, and she, lifted and she up. had the chance there at, at the right post. Tell you what, now you. Your Wilkes Central, <laughs> Ash got a, almost had a chance for a, a seventh goal. Yeah, that thing, Aspen a lot of times puts that one away. So here comes the goal kick. Clock running down, probably at most two minutes left. The referee is keeping it on the field. Yeah, Wilkes Central's. Tyler Eller again. Oh, Becca Bowers again. I don't know what you do in this situation with the being two goals and just a real limited time left. Yeah, and you really don't know how much time's left. No. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's tough. It's a little that's bit. That's it. There it is, and that's gonna do it. And we just saw the, probably the greatest comeback in the history of Ash County soccer. That was outstanding right there. Down four nothing at <laughs> halftime. They scored six goals in the second half. I and mean, what's neat really about done. soccer is Coach Rousseau gets to talk. I mean, he really, you know, in football. You know, you can have timeouts and you can get, you can make a comeback and you can talk to your players, you know, on the sideline or in the huddle. And, but, you know, he really hadn't had a chance to talk to them. So last time he talked to those girls, it was four to nothing. And he sent them out there in the second half with a new strategy and, and so, trying to get them motivated. The next time he can give them a hug and, and talk to them is after they've actually done it all. Right now, know? yeah. After they've scored the six goals, you know. And, uh, and so it was a, a nice get together there on the sideline. Shane Wilkes Central played a great match, and we we got to give compliments there to Jesse Pardue and Tori Andreski, who both scored two goals, played fantastically well. Good effort there by Wilkes Central. They're a very good team. They just really got caught in a, a you know just a whipsaw there of, of Ash County there in that second half. I mean they Ash County just was unstoppable. I mean they played probably the best half we've seen they, play they've played year. all season long. Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. I think. You know, Valerie Keys was outstanding tonight. I mean, so many players for Ash County just down the list played outstanding tonight. But. Yeah, we saw Tori Andreski get the first goal of the night. Uh, and when she turned and it got by Chrissy Simmons, the second goal was Jesse, uh, was uh, Pardue on a, on a pen. No, it was actually Andreski again on a penalty kick. Pardue then got a goal, and then Pardue got a penalty kick. Right. And, and then we saw it come back, and from that point on, it was Aspen Domsky and then Valerie Keys and then, 
Uh, and then Aspen again, then Valerie again, and then Valerie gets her third goal, and then Becca Bowers finished it off there with goal number six, and her first goal of the night. But Valerie Keyes gets a hat trick with three goals all in the second half. Aspen Domsky with two goals. So, Drew, that gets, puts her well above the 100 yeah, she goal had 100, mark. 102 now. Yeah. yeah. Becca Bowers now got, got a, a nice goal there from the midfield. And so our condolences there to Wilkes Central. They played a great ball game, the, the, the players there. And, uh, but compliments and uh, congratulations there to the Ash County Lady Huskies for coming up with probably the greatest comeback in the history of Ash County yeah. high school soccer. Yeah, you and know it's tough for the Eagles over there in Wilkes Central on their senior night, but great job by Ash County. Congratulations. We'll be back at Sky Zone HD Game of the Week, and we'll see you here next week. Congratulations, Ash County Lady Huskies. <laughs>